Howdy ho! Number one, I'm pretty, okay? That has a lot, and I, I don't mean that to be conceited. I'm being very matter of fact. Being pretty gets you a lot of privilege. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you can get away with a lot if you're pretty. Like how hypocrisy you are, oh my god. Hey, hello, hello, girl gang. What up, everybody? Good to see you guys. Happy Friday! Woo! It's Friday! I'm so excited it's Friday. Thank you guys so much for being here on this Friday. I'm in such a bad mood. <laughs> I, it's nothing beyond frustration. I'm so angry right now. My heart is about to explode with rage. Oh, we will get into it. This is going to be an exceptional Friday. Cheese, butt stuff, and I got a lot to bitch about. So, and I'm in a bitchy mood. It's going to be one of those Fridays, all right? <sighs> Before we get into anything, let me explain my frustration. So, this is uh, us, by the way, streaming from the fancy new internet. I got fancy fucking new internet after finding out I had been ripped off for my internet for years at this point. Okay, and that was supposed to solve all the problems. Oh my God, fantastic, great. This is our first stream with the NASA level fancy new internet. Guess what happened right before I hit go live? The, the connection was unstable. Same fucking message that always happened. I'm about to punch the computer screen. I swear to God, when I saw that right before going live, I wanted to rage quit the stream. We didn't even start yet. That was supposed to solve all the problems. Anyway, um... The whole reason I ended up getting the fancy new internet was to play the game. We were going to start playing a little bit. Game. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. This fucking saga of the game. <sighs> so I bought now a capture card and fancy new internet to play this fucking game. You know who's been fucking around with that fucking capture card all afternoon? Me! Me! That's who... Ah, Serenity, now, I, listen, I can't make that piece of shit Nintendo play on my TV so that I can play on my TV and also stream to the computer. I'm so close to getting it to work. Well, no, so close. I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. I can't get it to work. Here's as close as I got it. Um, the, the video game now plays onto the computer. The TV doesn't think the video game is plugged in, even though I keep plugging and unplugging the goddamn cord. It's plugged the fuck in. The TV won't recognize that it's got anything plugged in, okay? Okay, big deal. I'll play on the fucking computer. At least the, the picture's on the computer. So I did like a little test run in StreamYard where I can just record instead of going live to see, is this working? Does this piece of shit work? Well, guess what? There was no sound on the fucking recording. I. 
I'm in such a bad mood. <laughs> and I'm so glad I didn't try and do this yesterday because I just, I knew it. No, I knew it. Every single time someone in life tells you like, oh, it's no problem. You're going to unplug the thing. There's just three wires. Like it's unfuck upable. Nothing can go wrong. I swear to God, I said yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say nothing can go wrong, but somehow something always fucking goes wrong. And I said, I don't need this aggro on a Thursday. I'm saving it for tomorrow. I called it piece of shit technology. I hate it all. I know I'm going to have to ask my brother, it, you know what? I'm sick to death of being laughed at and called a boomer. One thing, one little tiny box with three fucking wires. I watched videos. I went to the creator of the box that El, El Gato makes the little box I bought. Okay. El Gato even has YouTube videos about how specifically how to get this piece of shit to work with a fucking switch. I watched this video. I don't know, 17,000 times. Can't make it work. Doing everything the video tells me to do. I don't lose my shit. Anyway, <clears throat> all that to say, there will be no fucking video games tonight, which I really wanted to do tonight. It's going to have to wait till tomorrow when I either figure it out or suck it the fuck up and get laughed at by my brother and have him fix it, okay? <sighs> I'm so angry. <laughs> you ever feel so fucking useless? I hate technology. Anyway, hard pivot. I just needed to vent that shit. I'm so mad. Tina, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Nice to see you. Happy Friday. Sorry you just got yelled at for the first six minutes of the stream. It's so frustrating. I can't, I can't, I can't let it go either. My eye is pulsating with rage. Anyway, it's good. We're here. We're going to do a little Chantal react. At least I have the outlet for the rage. <laughs> and because, you know, Chantal is such an intelligent boss beach. Uh, she put out a video minutes before we were scheduled to come live. So thanks, Chantal. You just gave us something else to react to. I, I don't understand the thinking or the non-thinking. Uh, Jessica, thank you for the super chat. FFG Wednesday PO box gift for you. Well, thank you so much. That's so nice of you, girl. I will go and Get it on Wednesday. Thank you. Hey, Frenchie, it's my 30th birthday today. Kiana, hey, girl. Happy birthday. Have a great birthday weekend. That's fantastic. Boo, boo, boomer. Stop laughing at me. Stop it. Who's a boomer in here? Me. <laughs> so tell your bro we all say thanks for helping. He won't be able to hear me through his laughter. Fuck. <sighs> Kaden, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Like the internet, I am also unstable. I know every time that thing pops up on the screen, I look at it and I kind of nod and go, yeah, you and me both. I just, I got fit. we're on the fancy fucking internet now. I wasn't expecting that first thing, you know? Anyway, we'll see if today is a little less choppy because what I have noticed with these, what I now know was subpar internet, when I have hella tabs open and shit, it would get like choppy at a certain point during the stream. So I got a million and a half fucking tabs going. We'll see if tonight's any better. Cause so far not impressed. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. Wiring problems. I had an internet promise for years. Turns out it was my shit house. Oh, I don't think it's the shit house. Cause I did the speed test and everything. Whoa, it blew my mind. Whoa, it's like, it's got a rocket booster on its ass, you know? It's, it's just me. <laughs> it's me. Ha, I'm the problem is me. I can't. Three fucking wires. Too much for me. It's just too much. I don't know why life can't be just here. Plug one thing in here and boom, it works. FFG, do you have the TV on the right channel? That No, that I am on the right channel because every time I play uh, the Switch, every time I have played the Switch, it's, it's on there. I just have to flick the little button until it goes to HDMI 1. Now, suddenly, HDMI 1 can connect. Why, you fucking piece of shit? You're connected. You're fucking plugged in. Anyway, <laughs> it's either going to work or the TV's going to break tonight. It's one way or another. I know how this is playing out. Ooh, huge ass. Hello. Thank you for the super chat. Cheese, butt stuff, and bitching. Yes, that's right. Hella bitching. What? <laughs> I'm Gen X, but my brain is boomer. I, I, I can't things it's just it's too much they've come out with too many things god damn it i can't <sighs> these children in school listen while we were learning cursive 
They were learning how to do these kind of fucking things. Who even knew what an HDMI cable was until a few years ago? You know, oh, these kids in school, they're learning about coding and fucking computer shit. We, we, we learn cursive. Like, <laughs> life is not made for me anymore, you know? Oh, God. More, oh, no. <laughs> when you're already feeling down and your fucking bully shows up. <sighs> hey, Jeff Cheese, hello. Thank you for the super chat. You know what? We'll make it. Don't get your block. That's it. I'm, I'm not in the mood for your shit tonight. Fuck. <laughs> your bully always shows up right at the right moment. They really just like, ugh. ugh it's like the uppercut you didn't want. Damn it, T-Jab. Jeez. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Chantal's as pretty as a truck stop porta potty. You're absolutely right. I would rather make out with the porta potty, but maybe that's just me. Cursive writing is what we did back in the day. I know the kids today would never know. They don't, they don't even understand cursive. We don't know her, but we can like build a spaceship, you know? Well, I can't fuck Christ. <laughs> Tracy, thank you for the super chat, but <laughs> stop bullying me. <laughs> I'm also such an asshole set in my ways. Like I don't want to learn. I just want the fucking game to play. I don't want to have to learn a new thing. I'm fed up. No, I love learning new things. But not when it comes to technology. I like learning about life, new things, like facts, new things. I swear to God, if I never had to turn on a computer again for the rest of my life, I would be so fucking happy. I don't want to know about this shit. Useless. Damn it. <laughs> Bowler pin up. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Donation for FFG Serenity Blunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. I'm nowhere near high enough for it to be Friday. <laughs> That's a, I'm about to change that, though. That's fine. Quinn, thank you for the super chat. To future me, going to draw, wait, going to drag Bindo, bingo tonight. Ooh, that's fun. My new fiance, Sean, loved your call out on Monday. Hey, Sean, please officiate our wedding. Uh, sure. <laughs> if you're ready for a lot of we uh, yelling at your wedding, I'm down. Oh my God, have fun. Uh, drag bingo sounds awesome. Have a great weekend. Yeah, serenity now indeed. My throat is so raw from just yelling and swearing. <clears throat> Not even now. Before we started. I'm pissed. Katie, thank you for the super chat. I'm flexing on you, young and LMAO. <clears throat> what? I built my own gaming PC and I'm 59 and an old lady. Well, congratulations. There's nothing I can say. That's, that's a feat. I could never... Congratulations. Have you ever plugged in a fucking little El Gato little, little piece of shit thing? Three wires that'll make you want to hang yourself with them? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Building the computer, that's easy stuff. But have you ever tried to plug in a capture card? I'm kidding, sort of. <laughs> Congratulations to you and your PC. <laughs> Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Thank God it's Friday. Oh my God, yes. I know this heifer is going to make me side. It always does. It's a consistent thing. At least she's consistent about, you know, driving us all nuts. Mandy, hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Changed several diapers. I'm not impressed. I, I don't blame you. What is there to be impressed about? <laughs> Thanks for being here, Mandy. Charlotte, thank you for the super chat. Don't feel that bad. I'm an, actually a boomer. So I get your frustration. It's... <laughs> Oh, I'm making, I'm making hands right now of like choking someone. The world is not made for, for us. <laughs> oh, hell. I just don't know. I don't, I don't know about computer stuff. It is what it is. All right. Emails, shmemails. I can type like a motherfucker. Computer things, accessories, things you got to plug into shit. Leave me alone with that. No, it's enough. So what's a zoomer? Oh, I have no idea. Slap the router. No, the router is the one thing not giving me a problem today. To the router, we say thank you. Thank you, fancy new router. Shit. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. Time to grab my spliff. I will be joining you in just a minute with that. Yay. YouTube it. I did YouTube it. I was doing it following along a video made by the company of how to do it. Specifically was the Twitch, and I still did it wrong. Hey, girl. Hey, thank you for the super chat. FFG senior ID manager here. Try a different. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Try a different HDMI port. They blow all the time. Cable too. I swear to God. Do you, you think it could really just be that simple? 
Because the TV, there, there's like hell of those little slots on the TV. Oh my God. If it's as simple as just trying another one, I'm going to lose my shit even harder when we're done. No. Thank you so much for that tip. I will definitely be trying again with a cooler head. Oh my God. And if it doesn't work, I'm taking that TV right off of the wall and I'm throwing it out the window and we're going to call it a day. Nit <laughs> Nintendo customer service. Thank you for the super chat. LOL boomer. Do you need help with turning on the now? <laughs> Stop bullying me. Listen, I listen, nothing, nothing. I have no defense. Help me, Nintendo. Help me, Nintendo. <laughs> oh, Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Here, FFG, a gift to make you feel better. Puts down a plate with a chicken set. No. A chicken burger? Uh-huh. With matzo. Oh, tabarnak. You keep your damn burger. Oh. Bullies. That's right. B my bully in the chat going, bully, bully. Why are you all bullying me? I'm about to leave. Fabulous fabric, fool. Thank you for the super chat. My generation technology was plugging in typewriters, push button phones for 30 years. Now tech changes every other day, right? There's always something fucking new. And then the new things don't plug in like the old things do. And now you need to buy another thing just to use the new thing. Sick to death of all of it. You know what I miss? The days of a good pen. I love a good Bic pen. You know, the clear ones. Those like cheap ass. Bic. I'm a Bic bitch. Okay, you give me a good Bic. You give me a nice piece of paper. I like to write things down. I'm sick of all this shit. Like things, write things down in cursive. <laughs> It's your birthday month. Well, Dames Pondu, enjoy your birthday munch. Munch? My fat ass. <laughs> birthday month. <laughs> Pixie, thank you again for the super chat. Frenchie, can you program the clock on a VCR? You know I can't. Oh. <laughs> Picture it. Frenchie's kitchen. The microwave, the air fryer, and the oven stove, whatever you want to call it, they all have the little time on it. All three times are different because I don't know how to set any one of them. <laughs> Picture it. Frenchie's, what do they call the digital uh, thermostats? Are all of, every room has a thermostat in it. Every single room's time is wrong and different than the next room because I don't know how to set any of them. <sighs> Everybody knows you don't trust the time at my house. Wherever you see the time, unless it's on my phone, do not trust it. <laughs> Everybody, shut up. <laughs> Bullies. Vicky, thank you for the super chat. Don't feel bad, FFG. My kids have forbidden me from touching their laptops or phones. I'm, I'm scared to touch my own goddamn laptop. A lot of times, it's like, so, and it's always my brother. And he's like, well, why don't you just try this? And I'm like, oh, no, I can't try things. Like, how when I fuck the thing up, I won't know what I tried and how to get back from where I am. You know, I don't touch things. I don't know. Girl, get it together. Jeez, no! <laughs> I'm having a meltdown on this Friday. Let it fucking happen. <laughs> <laughs> Kalari, thank you again for the super chat. I couldn't with my Elgato. It's collecting. Oh, I just streamed from my PC. Nintendo needs to direct connect to Twitch. It's 2024. I know. Wouldn't that be simple? Wouldn't that just be simple? But life's not about being simple. It's about buying other things. So no, soon the Elgato, you'll have to buy a little Elgato for your Elgato. So that you connect one to the other because may, maybe the first one's lonely and it wanted a friend. Fuck off. Fed up. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Donation to hire an IT specialist. <laughs> I'm still processing. I'm a big bitch. I am. I love their pens and I love their lighters. I am Fidel to the Bic. I'm a big bitch. <laughs> oh. Uh, deep fried dreams. Thank you so much for the super chat. My awesome little rescue Axel is 14 today. Bless. He was about to be euthanized and we are blessed. That is so awesome. Happy birthday, little Axel. Me. <laughs> I hope that was good for you, girl. Thank you so much. The fuck is an El Gato. Okay. It's called a capture card. It's so that the Nintendo will be on the computer screen, but I can sit back and watch it on the TV screen. Because I'm a pig. But I, I want the computer screen so I can follow the chat. You know what I mean? I still have to have the chat going as we're live. So I just want to be able to watch it on the TV or like play it on the TV. It's supposed to be simple. Anyway, it will be eventually. One day I'll laugh. I'll be like, oh, I remember when I couldn't figure out the fucking thing. <sighs> hey, girl. Hey, thank you again for the super chat. 
If you need to FaceTime, I'd be happy to help you. Thank you. I really appreciate the offer. That's very, very nice of you. Shiny Magpie, thank you for the super chat. FFG, I quit my job and my manager, Laura, is being terrible to me now. Would you please yell at her for me? <laughs> hey, Laura, you big body bitch. <laughs> Oompa Loompa body ass bitch. Why are you being a bitch, Laura? Don't be a bitch. She knew one of my pets was passing away and sent me a nasty message about going home. Oh, no. That's awful. Maybe I'm the wrong person to ask for advice because you know how I feel about pets. And you also know how I feel about if people go low, I go 10 times lower. So what's the lowest thing? Don't, don't tell the chat, but you know it in your head. Think of the lowest possible thing that you know about her. Now think of a way that sounds really good as you fucking insult her with it and text her that shit. Again, don't ever ask me for advice when it comes to these things. Burn her ass down. What are you talking about? You gonna take that shit? Don't take that shit. Mandy, thank you for the super chat. Hey, just saying all these freaking wire things drive me crazy too. It's too much. It's too much. Lori, you're a mean old cow. Yeah, I like that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We can DD your boss's husband. <laughs> now that is a fucking offer right there. I love it. Huge ass, thank you for the super chat again. Bic makes the two most stolen item stolen items in the world, the lighters and the pens. Exactly. Absolutely true. Uh Bic is the best. I love some Bic. I am a big bitch. Joe Davis, thank you for the super chat. From one big bitch to another hugs. <laughs> High five, big bitch. <laughs> Uh, Gigi, thank you for the super chat. Try putting it in rice. I'm sure Chantal will loan you some. Oh, tabarnak. Hmm. I'd rather not. Laura stinks. Laura sucks. Laura, you're a bitch. <laughs> I love it. Everybody's taking out their whole week on Laura. Good. Fucking get her. What a bitch. Bet Laura's fufu smells like barracuda and ricotta. Mm-hmm. Send Laura's, oh no, 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 no. X table, thank you for the super chat. She probably ate Howie a long time ago. I it was, ate him, sat on him. I don't know what happened to Harry, but we're on like Harry's 17,000. So eat shit, Laura. <laughs> AC Hill, thank you again for the super chat. Connecticut Proud. Bic is the only, wait, Bic is only one of our creations. Oh, I didn't even know it's from Connecticut. Wow. That is quite the thing to be proud of. Congratulations, Connecticut. Jessica, thank you again for the super chat. FFG's boomer rage is better than uh, Foodie Beauty's video or live stream. I agree. Shit. <laughs> Unless she's raging. No, you know, uh, it's come here to bully me. El Gato capture card. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> You're such an asshole. And I love it. How do you guys change your names so quick? I'll never understand, but God damn, it's funny. Oh, hot wasabi. <laughs> Hello. Oi, hot wasabi. Hi, hot wasabi. You being here just reminded me of something. Another thing I need to bitch about. And I'm only reminded by hot wasabi. It's funny when this happened. Immediately, I went to hot wasabi and I'm like, look at this, you know, because hot wasabi I had quite the thing for, do you guys remember Everest? I'm sure you remember Everest, that little schmuck who lives in his fucking van. Yeah, yeah, it's it's come down to that now. He is the little schmuck who lives in his fucking van. I'll give you one guess. Frenchie Du got a false copyright strike yesterday. One fucking guess. Which little motherfucker who lives in his van is the one who false struck your girl Frenchie? Oh, that's right. It's that aesthetically pleasing little dumbass Everest false struck my second channel yesterday. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Add it to the list of the things that have been pissing me off. Well, you know me. I'm not shy. I sent him a little message that he ignored for hours. It was a little bitchy. <laughs> and then he answered it back. And at the end of his message, he was like, no need for the nasty message. Get fucked. No need for the false copy strike, you was <laughs> yes that's right he false struck Frenchie Duh, he struck a video of all the videos because we we had reacted to uh, like quite a few of his videos guess what video he false struck the one with him and uh rosa 
the breakup video. Yes, it was the Rosa video. Exactly, Jules. That's the video he struck. I think like, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe he's trying to get rid of that content from the internet or something, or maybe he's butt hurt because in the end we kind of took, <laughs> kind of, we massively took Rose's side and realized what a little freak this guy is. Yeah, I suppose that's why. Anyway, false strike has of course been, uh, what do you call, appealed and my appeal was accepted. So take me to court or shut your little fucking face in your aesthetic van, you tiny little bitch. Oh, what a loser. Oh no, what just happened? I'm getting all these pop-ups. Games, games. Oh my God, is this coming from the Elgato? This is Epic Games. Oh no, I'm confused. I'm, I'm confused and angry. He has a new girlfriend? Well, that's why he struck that video. You trying to get rid of it? Cause you know, the irony was, I thought he would start just strike, strike, strike. So I went and got rid of the other reacts to him. I did counter, um, what do you call it, appeal, that one. I'll never delete that video ever, 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 ever. Do you want to get rid of it? Bitch, I will keep making <laughs> meaner and meaner thumbnails to go along with it and just keep uploading that same video until the end of time. Oh, what a tiny bitch. I never understand people who, who false strike like that. Like, what a fucking idiot. Everest and Laura are mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The new girlfriend is Laura. That's so funny. Yeah, Sarah, he did. Schmeck is Schmeck. Epic Games has Fortnite. Okay, that's why it's popping up then. I'm confused. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Tuned in when you were yelling at Laura and thought you were yelling at me since my name is Laura. No, no, no. A hater as beach, Laura. Not in the chat, but anyway, <clears throat> we were all just coming together to let somebody know exactly how we feel about their behavior. Laura. Uh, leftover soot in the carpet. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> oh, damn. Tell us how you really feel. Shit. <laughs> Bellini, thank you for the super chat. FFG, you kept me laughing on Wednesday evening. Your live was so much fun. Well, thank you so much for watching and being here. I appreciate it. Fortnite is fire. Maybe one day we'll be able to play. I don't know. I'm getting angry. The new girlfriend looks like Rosa? Damn. Well, I don't care. <laughs> Get fucked. Tammy, thank you for the super chat, girl. El Gato is the cat in Spanish. So ready for this stream. Why, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I appreciate that. Did you know that Egypt is in Africa? I don't know if you knew that. Jeanette, thank you for the super chat. Could you say hi to my hubs, Big Jim? Hey, Big Jim. Hello, Big Jim. <laughs> thank you for being here, Jeanette. And uh, thank you for being a fan, Big Jim. Appreciate it. You're playing Pal World right now? I don't know what that means. I would die to see FFG playing Fortnite with a bunch of Gen Zs and Alphas. Well, that was the point. I was going to get a little baked and play a little fucking Fortnite and be yelling like I used to yell during Mario. It's a good time. I'm so bad at that game. It's so hard to play on fucking Nintendo. It was going to be a good time. Eventually. Eventually. Vivian's back. Yes. Vivian has a new name. Breaking news. Water is wet. But did you know Canada's in North America? That's a thinker right there. Kalari, thank you again for the super chat. And just to make it clear, was in Sham's chat earlier. You are not on the FOF list. You were put on the docks by the dumbasses list who are currently going after her and Yabba. What? Hang on, I gotta read that one. Just to make it clear, I was in Sam's chat earlier. You are not on the fuck FOF list. You were put on the docks by the dumbasses list who are currently going... Oh, okay. I'm t <laughs> I have a big question mark. I haven't watched anything that went on today. I, c I got back like from work kind of right you know, within the hour before we go live. So that's just a big question mark over my head. I have no idea what's going on today or what list I'm on or not. You are not being doxxed? Yes, what? Okay, well, anyway, I don't I don't know what that all is. I will find out after the stream. I have no idea. No idea. Hey, girl, hey, thank you again for the super chat. Fake strike from a small deed beach. Yes, F Everest indeed. 
Caillou? What about Caillou? Fuck Caillou. What's up, Caillou? Is the Caillou? D uh, D I trying, D trying. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. She remains a vile animal abusing, deflecting professional victim. Always will be, always has been. You know, that's what happens when you coddle people just so goddamn much and nothing's ever their problem and they're never left to clean up one of their own mistakes. You know, this is how they become. This is how they become. FFG, so much went on today. Really? Oh, damn. Okay, I got to get on Twitter when we're done here. Before I break the TV, you know. <laughs> uh, Monica Bing, thank you for the super chat. I'm bomb on Fortnite. Let's play. I'm Gen X. Damn it. <laughs> Are you going to teabag me? <laughs> I'm going to be 40 on my next birthday, and I just asked someone if they're going to teabag me in a video game that I hope to play when I can finally figure out how to connect it. This is not what I ever thought 40 was going to look like, but here we are, eh? Trish, thank you for the super chat. Love your pig roasting. Bring it on. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, girl. <laughs> Wait, missed it all. I'm out. Same, right? Same. I am confused. FFG per the doxing. The fact that GD fixed you years ago came up today. That GD did what years ago? He didn't do shit years ago. What did he do? I didn't have a YouTube channel. I was a Twitter troll. He got so bothered by me one day that he got drunk, came on his channel, and made a whole drunk live stream about a rando Twitter troll. That was me. And so I got drunk, did a channel, <laughs> and my first reaction ever was me drunk reacting to drunk Caillou. I never thought there'd be a channel after that day. I figured YouTube would take it down, but here we are, so thanks Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> but I still have no idea what's going on today. Uh, Olive Martini, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. It's not funny. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm glad my my rage is so hilarious. I got. I get it. <laughs> no tea bagging in the chat today. Well, if we can't do it on a Friday, when can we? FFG docs. Eh, afraid much. Anybody wants to come here, I'll serve you a cup of coffee before I fucking have you hospitalized. <laughs> it's just that simple. And I also don't give lifts to the hospital. So good luck with your fucking ambulance. Uh, hijab cheese again. Thank you for the super chat. I bet you would, bitch. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> My God, you're so nasty. I don't doubt that for a second, you freak. Laura's Cozy Grotto. Thank you for the super chat. You yelled at boss Laura, but I'm telling everyone I know that it was about me. You know. FFG bullied me on her stream today. Oh my God, a new hater is born. <laughs> Bish, you know I would never yell about you. Your neighbors must love you. Listen, it's evening. It's not even nighttime. I am, I'm like a mouse in the, like when it's late, okay? This is my living time. Why the fuck do we pay rent if we can't just yell and get a little rowdy on a Friday shit? Shit, but this is why I need to have my own house. <laughs> AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. FFG, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you too. I appreciate it. Yes, it is time to get a little fried. <laughs> I am down. Uh, I suppose that's our cue to get the first tab. <laughs> so, like I said, right before... Oh, wait. Squeaky Nips, you are not blocked. I see you in the chat. Hello. That good old Quebec hospitality. I, well, I said I'd serve you a cup of coffee first. Shit. I thought that was extremely nice of me. <laughs> I could just bat you at the front door, but no. I'm going to give you a cup of coffee first and then maybe slap you in the face with the mug. But that's neither here nor there. Let's hard pivot into some Chantal, all right? So right before we were about to go live, she put up a video because she's kind like that. She does the work and then hands it right over to us. Thank you, Chantal. Thank you for thinking of our live stream and what we were going to react to tonight. So uh, we're going to watch the live stream. I need a good laugh. It's short. It's under an hour. We love that for her. But before we do, we'll work in reverse chronological order tonight. Let's watch the video she just posted up. Most satisfying meal. What does that even mean when it's coming from Chantal? Every meal is like the most satisfying meal. That is crazy. Oh, it's your birthday? It's your 17th birthday? Oh, happy birthday? 
question mark have a great birthday i'm just like 17 seems awful young to be fucking around with this group i don't know I see he'll thank you again for the super chat jay's for everyone you get a jay and you get a jay i'm like hi oprah you know everybody gets some weed let me get the first tab y'all hold on Oh, and before it even starts, we start out with a bombshell. Our grown-ass toddler is apparently back on my fitness pal. <sighs> I'm not in the mood for this shit today. I swear to God, I would have rather just play the video game. Fuck. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to another video. Oh, well, hello. Before I start this video, I just wanted to inform you. Oh, God, the hustle. Hold on. I, for I saw the beginning, and I figured she left out the little intro today. It's my bad. She does this on purpose to, like, get us to watch it. No! So, I hope you have uh, grabbed your dinner and are going to eat dinner with me. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. Bismillah. I'm not wearing my ring today because um, I do not want the chicken grease to get on it. I'm sure you can understand. So yes, and I'm au naturel right now, kind of halfway. Um, so here I have some chicken breast, one pita, some rice with potatoes I made myself. It's like tomato rice with potatoes. I have some hummus here and some fatouche salad and some pickles and some uh, greens and some yogurt. So yes, yeah, so let's dig right in. I'm so hungry. And go for some greens because they're in the way <laughs> because they're in the way she always looks like an animal grazing when she goes for those greens it's the way she takes them down that it will never not make me laugh that bite of greens kills me i'm so sick of these meals i'm so the, the whole kuwait thing it goes without saying i i don't know it's moot at this point everybody knows everybody's sick to death of this content but these meals specifically that every plate of food she eats lately looks exactly the same it's all the same component. I a little bit of chicken, a little bit of salad, a little bit of rice, and then that goddamn huge tub of full fat yogurt. You know what I mean? And every bite she puts into her mouth, she scoops that big bite of yogurt into her mouth. It just looks so nasty. Was a pickle? So. I hope you all had a wonderful day so far. I had an amazing day. Every day on this earth is amazing. Shut the fuck up. Every day on this day, uh, every day on this earth is amazing, but you squander every day away. Doing what? Sleeping until the afternoon, wasting your time searching your own fucking name online, stuffing your face until you lose a foot. Every day is such a blessing. <laughs> Treat it like one then. Damn. Reaper, thank you so much for the super chat. Am I right or am I right? yogurt bite for you mm. oh, try not to choke on the chicken breast and then like ugh, putting it in your mouth and then having to scoop it from falling down you could just take some smaller bites it wouldn't kill you it actually might save you from choking just, you don't chew anyway you should only have tiny bites in your mouth that just makes sense miss movie buff thank you for the super chat <laughs> Yummy. It's also not the, these orgasm faces and this yummy and stuff. You eat the same thing every day. 
you can't still have orgasm face over it. Mm, yummy. So I, I, don't, I don't know. Think of something you love, right? I love a souvlaki. Oh, fuck. I could fuck up a souvlaki right now. I could have one in each hand right now. I could eat a souvlaki every day for probably five days. By day six, like, I don't even want to smell the tzatziki anymore. I'm not going to make sex noises over it. That's for damn sure. So, I um I prayed Fajr this morning early. <laughs> I want to cry. I swear to God, you didn't. You did not pray. You did not pray. So, you woke up the day after your rage stream, going after people, talking about people's bodies and looks and everything. I woke up and I prayed. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. She woke up and she prayed. And you know what? I woke up in Buckingham fucking palace and put on my crown. And then I went back to bed for a bit. And um, I slept like on and off throughout the day, kind of like in between prayers <laughs> because I was um, just like, I don't know, kind of low energy and I was fasting. I was fasting. You were sleeping. And I had a sore tummy. Oh, where's Salad? He's at his house. Or, you know, having sex with someone who's not his fake wife. Dames Pondu, thank you for the super chat. Female version of teabag is taco slap. <laughs> I'm writing that down. That's crazy. For the day. So I didn't eat until now. Like, this is my first meal. I don't think that I'll eat anything else. Oh, my theory on Kate. Yes, did I see Kate? I did not see Kate. They're hiding her from me at Buckingham Palace too. But I have a theory on Kate. I believe she had plastic surgery and the plastic surgery may have been botched. And now she had to have plastic surgery on top of her plastic surgery. And that might be why the healing is taking so long and they're hiding her from us. But I do want to share my way in. One fifty nine point one. Wait, I need the cal calculator. Wait a minute. Uh, 151.9 kg. Three hundred and thirty four point eight. Yeah, I don't buy that for a second. No fucking way. Three hundred and thirty four point eight. Bitch, we're not blunt. Look at. Come on. Come on. You're real convinced with your chin spanks on, but it doesn't work like that on us. I don't buy that number for a second. Mars Bruce, thank you for the super chat. Frenchie, I first started watching Foodie when I was 14. I fear watching her for this long has stunted my mental development. Oh, no. Yeah, that is young to get wrapped in. You might be right about that. I don't know what to tell you. Damn. I my blood sugar reading because I'm going to kind of go back to using my YouTube channel as kind of a, just a diary. For how okay. For the last few days, <laughs> all she's been talking about is how her life is private and nothing is our business and she doesn't have to tell us shit. And here we are literally the next day the next day saying that we're going to be using our YouTube channel as a diary again. Well, what does that mean? Is your life fucking private? You're not telling a shit or are you using this piece of shit platform you have as a diary? Cause when you use it as a diary and you tell your diary things, we're going to have commentary on the things that you say to the diary. So then you can't turn around in a day again and tell us to all fuck off. And it's not our business. Go to therapy. Therapy is the word you were looking for there, not diary. And the internet is not your therapist. You are so fucked in the head. Go and get yourself some fucking help. 
This is not your diary. The, the, the people who pay their $5 a month to chat with you and stuff, they don't need your shit. They're there to be amused. So dance for them. Put on your little show and fuck off with your mentals off of the internet. Sydney, thank you for the super chat. Health, my life. So I'm a bit up there, back up there and wait. Oh, hold on. My side chat is frozen. I can't even go back and say somebody does a fr Oh, oh, Helen, Frenchie, I make your uh, roasted tomato and noodles recipe all the time. I'm so glad you like it. I make it all the time too. There is the easiest fucking dinner. And you really feel like you ate something that like, oh, it took time and it's homemade. You know? I love that. And it's not that bad for you except for the pasta. No, oh, I'm glad you like it, girl. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. So, my plan is, I'm going to try to um, do what I did the last time that I lost um, a little bit of weight. That was meth. And cocaine, the last time you lost a little weight. The fuck is she talking about? The last time she lost a little weight was at the beginning of Crack at Olympics when she was cracked out of her mind 24 hours a day. And even then, she kept talking about the weight she had lost. She wanted everybody to applaud a crackhead losing weight. And now we're going to, well, I'm going to do what I did the last time. Have you found amphetamines in Kuwait? Is that what you're telling us? Squeaky Nips, thank you for the super chat. And basically try to eat substantial home cooked healthier meals to keep away the um the binge eating. Well, I don't think she cooked that meal. <laughs> I think she lied about doing that meal, cooking that meal, and now she's talking to us and lying about cooking more meals. She can't roast a chicken. That wing wasn't even burnt. She did not cook that chicken. I don't think she could make rice that looks that even. You know what I mean? I don't think she made that meal. She just put it onto a plate to fool us all. Fuck. FFG, you calculated wrong? What did I calculate wrong? Okay. I don't know. The aimbot. Thank you for the super chat. How does Jabba fit into that gaming chair? That's a good question. That's a good question. Although she is much bigger from the side. Like... That sideways than she is straight on, you know? Uh, I don't know. Do we know that that's a normal size gaming chair? You know that Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> makes like gaming chairs for big fat guys? Maybe she's got a Shaquille O'Neal gaming chair. I don't know. Frenchie, don't forget the sex exercise. Well, <laughs> she didn't lose anything. The starfish doesn't <laughs> lose anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just saying oh my god ac hill thank you again for the super chat frenchie would you please give me the honor of being my weed buddy absolutely fucking lutely because i found that that was the most um the most effective i just didn't keep it up long enough but So yes, that's what I'm going to try to do again. Ooh, Deidre, she's on max volume, so I just turned my volume down. I hope that balances out better. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs>
my rice is portioned up today. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm not skipping all the way back to the beginning, but we all saw what the portion was before her fat ass started digging into it. That was rice for at least two people. That's not a portion for one, unless you meant you, you're you eating two portions of rice at least. Oh my God, a bed pen. Not a gamer. Thank you for the super chat. I've gotten to love playing yogurt lately. She's got right now a whole mouthful of rice in her mouth. She hasn't chewed, swallowed nothing. There is an entire, a huge spoonful of rice in her mouth. And she's going to cram in a spoonful of the fucking yogurt. I've gotten to really like yogurt lately. She eats the full fat, thick yogurt. It's it's like sitting there eating full um, sour cream, a little tub of sour cream with every meal. Can't imagine why you love that. It's so good. And it's apparently good for your digestive system. You know, by the way, Heifer, let me teach you a little something about the culture that you know nothing about and you don't spend time with any people. So you're never going to learn this. I'm going to teach you this right now. So when you have pita bread, uh, pita bread, whatever in the culture is also used as like a utensil in a way, right? So you don't just sit there and eat all the bread, like the fat ass that you are in the first bites of your meal. When you have things like salad, like rice on your plate, you're going to have your spoon, but then how do you push the food onto your spoon? With your trotters? No. That's when people would normally have a small piece of pita and use it as like a scoop. It's used as like a utensil in the culture. So you would use the pita to scoop, eat your fucking spoonful, and then eat the pita. And th that's how people use the bread or pita or whatever while they're eating their meal. They don't just sit and eat the entire pita and then start using their fucking trotters in the food. If again, had you spent time outside of your home watching how people eat, you would have picked that up on your own, but you don't. So, I love pickled vegetables. Lord Baroque, I'm, I'm left with a massive question mark over my head, but thank you for the super chat and the info. I just don't get, I don't get it. So I'll try my best to keep up with the weigh-ins and not get frustrated and clam up. My God, it's like watching somebody who hasn't eaten in three weeks, who was like kidnapped or something, and they just got released and given a, a plate of food. Nobody is coming to take it away from you. Chewing is a thing. Swallow one bite before you put the next one into your mouth. You're so gross. Where I don't feel like sharing. You know. So that's what I'm going back to. As opposed to what? I'm curious. Going back to implies you were doing something else. You haven't put out a vlog or anything in quite a while. All you do is come, sit, stuff your face, talk about whatever you want to talk about, and then tell everybody to fuck off and that whatever you don't want to talk about or are put on the spot about, it's none of our business. So what do you mean going back to? This channel is a piece of random shit. There's no nothing to this. There's 
you call yourself a vlogger. Where's the vlogs? You have the audacity to tell other people to put up vlogs. You're supposed to be the vlogger. Look at you sitting in your fart box in the sky, in the sky stuffing your face as usual because your fake husband doesn't want anything to do with you and you're as miserable there as you were in Canada trying to lie to us all and convince us that you cooked that meal, girl. Pathetic. Trying to drink this water. Or low calorie drinks. Who cares anymore? Honest to God, about low calorie drinks when you sit and eat that fucking tub of full fat yogurt with every meal. Yeah, wash it down with the water. It's like the people who go to McDonald's and get like the large fry and a double Big Mac, but oh, a Diet Coke to wash it down. Yeah, yeah, because the Diet Coke is what's going to stop your heart. Basically, the real killer is regular soda, right? I mean, to normal fatties, yes, but I'd say that you're weight the real killer is the 450 pounds on your frame the fact that you, your your fucking feet and legs are all like red and shit you got way bigger problems than the this soft drinks and stuff cola whatever deidre thank you for the super chat yes she truly does think we're all blind and as stupid as she is i would like more hummus I'll just eat it out of the container. Sometimes I may not eat something super healthy. Sometimes. Oh, George is really getting upset. I was already in a bad mood and I'm sick of her bullshit tonight. Sometimes I might eat something unhealthy. <sighs> this is wild. Of course she wants more hummus. Yeah. Well, she had such a tiny serving of food. She needs the extra hummus. She's got a big day of work. <laughs> Pixie, thank you again for the super chat. Or it may happen that I fall off. In that case, I'm sorry for the quick pause, but this is a great question in the chat. Face of America, why does she think people want to watch this? Because she's so narcissistic. She really thinks she's like a celebrity. She thinks this little YouTube world revolves around her. She's the big fat sun in the middle that everything revolves around. She literally thinks that no matter what she does, people will watch because it's her, of course. <laughs> she, you know what I mean? It, 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 we will take anything as long as we get to see a little Chantal, Chantal. So this is the con content that she puts up. This is, she thinks she's doing us a favor and not, you know, the other way around of like the people are paying for that plate of food in front of her gob right now. No, no, she's doing us the favor by putting out this garbage fucking content right now. And we should say, oh, thank you. Thank you, local celebrity Chantal Soro. Fuck off. Garbage, absolutely garbage. And you know, this is a small portion for her. Absolutely linger. This is her on camera portion. Then she'll end the video and go just stick her face into the pot of rice. Musical mistress, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Happy Friday to you. This is gonna try to get right back on and not just like go on a week, couple weeks long bender. You know what I mean? That's what I usually do. So totally agree with you. No BS. Thank you for the super chat. 18 to 24 karat gold doesn't doesn't react with chicken grease. Same thing when she would say that she takes it off to wash the dishes. There's no reason to. 
There's also no reason that sometimes, I suppose when she doesn't take it off to wash the dishes and stuff, you could almost see her skin turning green, a little green tone coming out from under the ring. Yeah, that's that's not 18 to 24 karat gold. Maybe plated, maybe very cheaply plated. Maybe they, you know those machines when we were kids and you put in a quarter and you turn the little thing and that little circle like plastic thing would pop out and you get a little prize inside? I think that's where they got their ring. It'll be like two pitas that I eat. Ridiculous. Look how she holds the spoon too. Are you going out of your way to act like a pig so that we call you a pig and then you can turn around and call us Islamophobic? Look at you. Look at you. You're 40 years old. You're about to be 40 years old this month. Look at the way you hold that spoon. God, look at the lies coming out of your mouth. Look at you. Look at just oh, disgusting. No home training. This is why you teach children how to behave. You know, they can be wild in the house. This was the rule at my house anyway. It was like we were nasty, me and my brother, okay, in the house. In the house, do whatever the fuck you want. That's your family, family, you know? But you know how to behave when you're outside of those four walls. And the person I was, let's say, in the house, oh, no, no, I was on my best behavior outside of the house, out in public, whatever. You knew how to behave because you were taught how to behave at home. This pig was not taught how to do anything, any fucking thing at all. Look at the way she pulled that spoon. Look at the 16 bites of food that go into her mouth before she chews and swallows. Like, my God, man. Literally, Chantal, what did your mother do? Genuine question. You're a little kid. You're sitting at the table, okay? Eating, eating food with your family. And you're doing all of this. Did your mother think it was cute? Did she just call you cutie? Did she never correct you at all? What the fuck is the point of having a mother when it does no mothering? I love tattoos. Another thing that I make really good rice. You didn't make the rice. Shut the fuck up. Mars Bruce, thank you for the super chat. One time on campus, I asked the girl to watch my things while I went to the bathroom, computer included, foodie on screen. Got back and she asked me, isn't Foodie the girl who had sex with a homeless guy on a rock? Oh, fuck. Can you imagine randos and that's what you're known for? That's what you're known for? And the story's a lie. Like, uh, <laughs> your one little legacy or infamy or whatever the fuck you want to call it is some bullshit. Can you imagine hating yourself so much that you created that story? You lied about fucking a hobo on a rock. That's a real self-loathing motherfucker who would lie about fucking a hobo on a rock. Another really good thing that, like another thing that I find very effective. And helping with binge eating. I'm just noticing that uh, hummus is in a little takeout container. So it kind of gives away that the entire meal is from a takeout container. Uh, next, what do you mean things that you find effective to stop the binging? You haven't stopped the binging. Look at look at the way you're eating right now. Most people would call this one a binge meal. You won't. Of course, you've never binged on the internet, but you haven't figured out how to stop binging. So you don't have any tricks to give to anybody. Lord of the Fruit Flies, thank you for the super chat. Yogurt is her gullet lube. You're not wrong. She did say that chicken was hella dry and then took a mouthful of the yogurt. It's having um, well-rounded meals. So even this meal, if you notice, has like a bit of every food group, dairy, vegetables, carbs, um, protein, and fats because there's olive oil in this uh, hummus. 
Oh, the fats is the olive oil in the hummus. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the fats. Do you know what hummus is made of, you stupid fuck? It's chickpeas. Huh? Hummus. Hummus in Arabic is chickpea. Hummus is hummus. Hummus is eating a, a bag of fucking beans full of calories. Then you got your rice full of fucking calories. Then that salad, you know, you put every drop of dressing that was served to you on that salad full of fucking calories. Everything you're eating there is covered in oil and made with oil and full of beans and full of rice. No, it's the olive oil in the hummus that's kind of the only fatty thing in her meal. You wish. God damn, man. And if the, the olive oil was the only fatty thing in your meal, you would be dropping pounds like there's no tomorrow. You're the fattest thing in that house. Every meal you eat is full of fucking fat and huge. A well-rounded meal, says an unemployed fat ass who's about to end this stream and go take a nap. She needed to eat all this well-rounded meal to prepare for a good nap. I'm telling you, you have to try if you're eating a meal. Use some uh, plain yogurt. You have to try getting your jaw wired shut. I think it might be the one thing that would actually stop her. If she had her jaw wired shut, like how many smoothies can she make herself in a day? She's lazy. Huh? Jaw wired shut. Try it, Chantal. Especially with rice. And meat. Del, thank you for the super chat, girl. So that's why. If I were to eat just like one food group, like um, just the chicken. I'm so sick of this woman. I swear to God. I don't know what we're going to do on this channel because I can't I can't sit here. If I were to eat just this chicken, nobody nobody would expect you to eat just this chicken. But, you know, everybody in life can make themselves a plate that's not the size of a serving platter. A little chicken, a little rice, a little salad, a little this, a little that. You have your little plate, right? A little plate. Serving. You need a little chicken and a little rice. and a little. It's not, oh, all or nothing. But that's very much Chantal's mentality and always has been. She's not good with the nothing, but it is her mentality, all or nothing. She either has to eat everything in the house or just a little bit of chicken. There's no such thing as that, like a, a moderate plate, a serving of food. No, no, no. All or nothing. That is binge eating. That is sick. You need professional help. Coming to the internet and calling it your diary isn't going to make you lose weight. And it's certainly not making you any less Delulu. And I would say it's kind of dangerous for a morbidly obese death fat who lies to the audience about their binge eating to be sitting there giving advice like highly recommend you eat an entire tub and that, uh, that I'm sorry, that yogurt is more than one serving, an entire tub of full fat yogurt with an entire serving platter of food. That should be against TOS. That's fucking dangerous behavior. You're disgusting, Chantal. I would probably be binging later. She Only will be binging later. We all understand. On the other three quarters of that chicken and 16 tubs of uh, pounds of rice, the rest of the hubcap. Come on. She's already dreaming of her next meal. Legend of Zelda, thank you for the super chat. A toddler has more mannerisms. She is more like a caveman. Oh, you know what? You're probably right. Now, everyone's system is different, so I can't speak on anyone else, and I'm not trying to. But for me, that's what seems to keep me from not binging. Again, again, you can't say that, oh, well, for me, this is what works. Nothing has worked. You're 450 pounds and about to lose a leg to the beatus. Who the fuck are you to tell anybody what works? You have not yet found what works for you.
I'm not saying it completely eliminates urges. Because the urges are not only biological hunger. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this woman hasn't felt genuine hunger in years. I don't even know when the last time she actually felt hunger. There is no biological hunger with this woman. She doesn't let herself get to that point. This is all just trying to fill in the holes, right? The holes in her, the, the things she's lacking in life, her depression. She uses food for every emotion. If she's happy, she wants a cake. If she's depressed, she wants some chips. If she, whatever is going on, the answer is food. It's not about hunger. It's about filling the holes. Listen, your fake husband is never going to fuck you, okay? That hole is never going to be filled. He is never going to be attracted to you. That hole is never going to be filled. You can eat and eat and eat until you're a thousand fucking pounds and it's still not going to change a goddamn thing, Chantal. You're so desperate to be married that you're now accepting of being fake married to a scat man who hates women, who is clearly an incel. Um, you're, you're just going to keep gaining weight in Kuwait. Nothing's better in Kuwait. It's actually way worse for you in Kuwait, but you're the only one unwilling to admit that. So yeah, just keep eating the yogurt. But it does definitely help. For sure. might have some tea later. Okay, now I don't know what to believe. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. I, I side-eye now the computer. 3517, God only knows. Whatever you are, listen, you know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm not telling anybody what to do. Emotional hunger. Ooh, good word. In a date or two. I love dates. They're so good. If you really want something sweet. No diabetes. You shouldn't be eating dates at all. Under no circumstance. I would say if she somehow miraculously did, you know, participated in Ramadan and fast the day of Ramadan, traditionally, you're supposed to break your fast with a date. One date is the first thing that you're supposed to eat, right? Okay, fine. If you were doing that, have your fucking date to, to break the fast. You earned it at that point to... There is so much sugar in dates. You know, like not every fruit is kind of built the same, right? You should be avoiding dates altogether. That's way too fucking sweet for, a, you know, your sugar foot. Dates are considered a healing, very nutritious superfood in Islam. Not for a diabetic. You fucking idiot. She listens to what she's heard, right? Dates, yes, if you, uh, I don't know, have given birth, if you've had an operation, if you've just coming, um, like you're healing from a, a flu or something, yes, they are considered, they're sacred in Islam. They, they are. And it's more than just Islam. It's to the olives, to the Arab people. It, yes. But not to a diabetic. And they do have a lot of fiber, so that helps with the sugar, but it is still very sweet. So I just have like one, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe means one package. We know how you function. <laughs> Mandy, thank you for the super chat. Pickle radish? I do have to work on slowing down, but... I never seem to realize that until after I'm done eating. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, you just reminded me. I'm sorry. There was so much things to say at the beginning of the stream and I got all sidetracked with my rage. Uh, sad cowboy frog. Thank you for the super chat. Should we take bets on when she will get banned from Kuwait for border hopping? I don't know how many more times she can do this. Honest to God, it seems like it's a, a matter of time at this point, right? 
So speaking of the visa, you know how Chantal lied to us the other day and, and said that she now got the new kind of visa and whatever. And uh, for all we know, that's what she got when she came back to Canada. And that's the visa she's there with now. Okay, great. Well, there's a problem with that. <laughs> Mo, Mo translates on Twitter, uh, went digging and looking into this new visa. And it turns out like, yes, there are, there is the new visa. Most people who have applied have been uh, turned down for it. And the new visa only came into effect after Chantal got back from Canada. Um, so there is actually no way that she even applied for that visa. She was too early to have applied for that visa. So she has to be lying. <laughs> Okay, that was very satisfying. It had like literally every food group, fat, carbs, protein, a lot of protein because the chicken, the hummus, hummus is very high in protein and the yogurt. So dairy, fruits and, well, not fruit, but vegetables. So I think that will be my meal. Like I said, I'll maybe have a date and then some tea in case, you know, actually, do you find after you eat dinner, you crave something sweet? No, I think. Everyone... No, I think everyone does. Everyone's like that. No, I knew she was going to fucking say that. No, I didn't grow up in a house where like dessert was a given every day. Dessert was like an odd thing. And when they said like, oh, do you want dessert? It was like, oh, there's dessert. Like that was not a thing at all. And I know I'm not the only one. We've discussed this here before. No, you fucking 40 year old death fat about to lose a limb to diabetes. No, not everybody needs a sweet after dinner. You just ate a, a family sized platter of food. You don't need dessert. But uh, that's about it. So thank you for having dinner with me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, that was, uh, I would say painful to watch, but I did take out a lot of my aggression on her on that one. So, I mean, like, I feel good. I was in a really bad mood. It's nice to have somewhere, you know, productive to put that bad mood. <laughs> no, yeah, DG, absolutely not. Everybody, if you want to read it for yourself, go and see Mo on Twitter. Mo translates on Twitter. Debunk the whole fucking thing about the new visa. No. No, no, no. She's flat out lying. And I mean, the proof is in the writing, right? <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate it. We were poor if you wanted. Oh, shit. I don't know why. My fucking side chat is completely frozen. Well, it was fun having a chat to keep up with. Well, I did. <laughs> Lord Baroque, thank you again for the super chat. Ah, uh, it was completely done. Okay. Still don't understand the contact, context, but thank you, Lord Baroque. Appreciate it. Tammy, thank you for the super chat. My 34th wedding anniversary is tomorrow. Can you tell? Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Happy anniversary. Hey, Tammy. Happy anniversary to you too, girl. Ha! You got him hooked on what's happening? Oh, no. Oh, no, Joe. Oh, no, Joe. We feel for you, Joe. <laughs> Clara's Spock eyebrows. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. When Chantal falls and breaks her numb leg in six months and she gets it cut off after the gangrene sets in, I'd be down to see you take a, a stick to Shani and Rev. I know you floated it before. <sighs> I'm very, very much on the fence because, again, now that there's no kids in the house, I, I could barely watch that shit. Knowing that there was kids in there, knowing now that there's no kids in there, I am kind of tempted Oh, I am kind of tempted. She is the reason I lost my original Twitter account, by the way. It's fucking Shannon. Sh Shannon. Shanny. Shanny came at me one day like the bitch that she is. And I just, I made a suggestion to her. I'm not going to repeat it here. because. <laughs> but long story short, I lost my whole Twitter account because of that suggestion I made to Shanny. So fuck Shanny. I would love to. CC, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Wait, Frenchie, do you know about the thing that Fui let slip at the end of the live stream? No, we're about to watch the live stream, so we will see the thing. Alicia Brophy, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Is it just me or her fingers dark? Is that a sign of kidney disease? Yes, it's the beat. Is she getting those filthy-looking trotters just like Amber Lynn has? Yes, absolutely. Mindy, thank you again for the super chat. A hobo on a rock to me. Listen. This is her story. <laughs> and she made it up. Can you imagine? 
Frenchie, let's get Shanny. I hate that pig. Same. I mean, we could. We could. We probably will. Cats for Nelson. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Okay, so that was the video. Well, uh, Weird said she had just put out minutes before we came on live. So now we're going to go back in time and watch the I Need a Good Laugh uh, live stream. It's under an hour. Fan fucking tastic. Certain things are slipped uh, in this live stream. It's uh, it's not bad. Made a suggestion that she should walk into oncoming traffic. Hot wasabi. It was something very close to that. Yes, you got it. <clears throat> okay, let me get the tab. Hold on. Look at her, she's a fucking joke. First of all, okay, I'm not saying anything about the pattern. I know it's women and men and being used now to to um like support Palestine. I'm not making commentary about that. My commentary is about the way she has it tied around her head. That's how a man would tie it. She's got it done up like a man. Okay. The performance and the makeup, and she looks she looks like, I don't, I don't know, like a Cruella de Vil or something. She looks like a fucking caricature or some kind of a cartoon or something. The bad guy in like a Disney movie with all that stupid fucking makeup on. It's She's a joke. She's an actual joke. Yeah, a painted up hog. That's a great word for it. And this, remember, is the face that'll go, first of all, I'm pretty. You can get a lot away with a lot when you're pretty. Imagine putting that much lipstick on a pig. It still looks like that. And that's what you think is pretty. <laughs> cutie, you're just so cute, cutie. Put on some of that fatty red, cutie. <laughs> I understand you have a little girl and your little girl's a little fatty and you want to boost her little confidence or whatever. So you tell her all her life how pretty she is. But sometimes tell her she's smart. Sometimes tell her she's good at something. I don't know. You can't just go on pretty because then you end up with a deaf, fat, ham sandwich who just thinks that she's good looking and that's fucking psychotic salam alaikum ghost face hi sandabreen let me come closer i can't see tangerine hi i forgot to add you next time i'm on steam i won't forget Oh boy, I'm sorry in advance for butchering your name. Non C Tornarino. Tornarimo. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, Katie. Oh no, how come? Come and unwind here. Shakespeare. Thank you, Gal Charlotte. Canny, hello. Maggi, so glad to see you live. Thank you. A B C D E F G. Finally made a live. Aisha, when did you become a member? <laughs> Again. Were you always one? Thank you, Aisha. Mia Wallace, Anna. Oh, Aisha is back in her chat. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, my God. Miriam McBoos. Hello. <laughs> Miriam McBoos, Mistress of the Dark. Hello. Hot. Did I say hi to Heather? No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, wifey. Me, Marie, wifey number three. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy Friday. Happy. Thank you. Thank you every day. It's my kafia. I guess turban style. I just started a new job and I feel like I don't fit in. Well, I'm not going to the clinic anymore for the shots. Nothing's wrong. I'm not in a bad mood. That's not why I needed a laugh. I guess I just, I don't know. You guys always make me laugh. Hi, bubbles and marshmallows. So much too much. I don't know if I'm going to stream the game tonight because Salah fell asleep and um, he usually sets up the game for me. So if sets up the game, girl, stop it. He fell asleep. He's not there. He sets up the game. No, he doesn't. He won't be in the chat. Is it that Pissy Poo is unavailable to be running the Miriam and Dumbass account tonight? Maybe. Swamp Boogie Sue, thank you for the super chat. Chantal doesn't need extra fats. She's her own fat storage unit. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. She is the extra fats. Pretty is as pretty does. <laughs> she does think she's hot stuff. Really, really fucking hell, man. Pissy Poo is Aisha? Oh, that's an interesting theory. Huh. That would make sense. Aisha came at me one time like a dumbass on Twitter. She had her ass handed to her, but she tried. 
Who's Aisha? Aisha, Aisha, Aisha was in her chat before. Didn't Marty go after Aisha? I don't think so. I don't think after Aisha. I think she had already kind of been gone from the chat when Marty came around. Could be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. Personal cooking channel. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. She's the fastest human in Kuwait. You must be fattest. And yes, she is. <laughs> non tor Nerimo. Thank you for the super chat. My message didn't show with my last chat, but she's like a merry-go-round and shit different day. Her and Amberlynn both. Absolutely. Yeah. Same trash, different pile, in my opinion. And before anybody starts like, Amber's not as bad as her and Amber hasn't done this and Amber hasn't done that. Where's Gracie? If you don't know about Gracie, you have something to search now. Amberlynn and Gracie after the stream. Welcome to the rabbit hole of her animal abuse. Okay. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. If I can figure it out. But I usually stream from my bed and he's in there. <laughs> I'm finding it hard adjusting to all the new clout in my new hospital ward. Oh, I see. Thank you, Bubbles. The pain, it's still there, but it's like not that bad right now. Widowed. My man thinks it's big fun to fart on me. Get my get me grossed out reactions. I warned him one day you will shirt your pants. Yesterday was that day. Nice. <laughs> I figured I personal cooking channel. Thank you again for the super chat. He's feeling okay. No, I don't have them. I can, you know what? I can put the mic on. My sword is hi, Cassidy. <gasps> okay. I wish you all the best luck in the world. I don't want to lie. I'm tired from live streaming for like six hours straight yesterday. Is that better? Is that better? Like no joke. It was like six hours total between the three streams. Oh, I was like, jeez. I was like, jeez. Isn't it funny? Six hours of live streaming. She hasn't done that in a long, long time. What date was yesterday? Oh, that's right. The last day of February. To end the month strong, real strong. Three live streams. Two of them rage streams. I'm just so exhausted from all of the streaming. Imagine having nothing to do all day. Huh? A, a regular work day is eight to nine hours. She sat on her ass and did nothing for six hours. And she, it's too much. I'm, I'm so tired from my six hour work day. <sighs> Thank you, Gal Charlotte. Who could blame her, me, Marie? Works. Thank you for the super chat, girl. So many different ones you can do, but it's getting a bit hot. I might take it off. <sighs> Not much better. Good. Okay. And be, shisha makes me so thirsty. It's not just the shisha, it's the beatus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, um, speaking of, uh, hey, Nosferatu, sweet revenge from the universe, short walk of fame. Summer's coming in like probably a month or so. <sighs> Thank you, Nostune. Hi, Sophia. Oh my God, hot wasabi. Should we start a war with her again tonight? Should we, should we start a new pineapple thing tonight? When I got home today, I ate about a pound of grapes. Oh, the black, you know, seedless black grapes are on sale at Costco this week. <laughs> it's up Canadians. I, should, you know, I ate like a pound of them and they were glorious. A pound of them, Chantal. Oh my God, she's such a skinny. She only ate a pound of grapes. No, 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 no. That was just what I opened with after the stream. That's when I get to the real meal. That was my my appetizer. Huh? A pound of grapes. Her, her name is Julia. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Can you go for walks without pain? Yeah, for a little while, you know, but then like later I'm a bit sore after. Zoom meeting? Oh, I can imagine. She's good, Richard. Thank you. She's just resting from beezing all night. <sighs> the heat is bad. We might travel. Hi, Stink, Jordy. Genetically modified. Shout out to your friend. Well said, Deidre. Thank you for the super chat. I am also so sick of her complaining and trying to get sympathy for all the things that she did. Yeah. Don't be the dick. Don't start all the fires and then cry to have someone help you come and put them out. You're the asshole who keeps starting them. Friends, Jordy, Priscilla, and Jeff. Sorry, Jordy, Priscilla, and Jeffrey. Hello, guys. <laughs> oh. 
Mary Kirkland, it's like, I'm going to stay up for Fajr and then I'm going to go to bed <laughs> for a few hours. I know how she feels. No, I didn't rip. <laughs> so, I don't want to talk about drama, but <laughs> whenever I say that, I know there's going to be drama. Okay, I'm hot. I want this off my head and maybe just around my... <sighs> I was watching... You know how thin that material is? Imagine being so fat that like a cheesecloth-esque material gets you sweating. That's the penis. Uh -huh. Squeaky nips, thank you for the super chat. Watching your mama's stream, and they're all going at him, okay? All my haters. Oh, my kafia. They're all going at him. Because he calls out their BS, right? Even... He doesn't call out the BS. Let's cut that narrative right there. He warps the things that we all say to try to make a point because he can't make a point very much like Chantal. He's an idiot. He's got zero spirit of debate, not in an honest way. Anyway, he clips things and edits thing and pauses things mid sentence to suit a narrative that doesn't exist because it's the only way he can sit and make his point and then, ah, 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 at the end of it. He doesn't know anything about girl world. He knows nothing about like the lore, the facts, the histories, the anything. So that's the only way he can play in this community. Don't say he calls us out. We're still waiting for the call out. Still waiting for that fucking useless motherfucker to make one valid point that comes from an honest criticism of something someone says without it being warped or manipulated in some way. He's just like you, Chantal. No wonder you like him so much. And you know, He's willing to stick his face right in between your ass cheeks. CC, thank you for the super chat. If we don't see eye to eye, he still like even it doesn't matter if he likes me or not. It does it remains the truth what he says that you're all a bunch of dumb hypocrites. So, I find it funny that Gorlick Incel has the nerve to come at me or him for views. So basically Gorlick Incel apparently was making fun of like was saying he thought that I was buying subscribers because the amount of subscribers, 100,000, and the amount of my views, let's say an average maybe of 10K, doesn't coincide together. If you look at his channel, he has a channel, how did he say? He has a channel of 100,000 subscribers and he gets like 100, and sometimes like his latest video had like 150 views. Dude, you're really gonna come? Number one, yo mama, like don't come for him. He has like, thousands he has maybe what a hand like how many subscribers does he have 8k 9k and he still gets more views on your 100k channel like you're such a moron i can't stand oh i can't stand that and so right stop taking the things i say and using them on other people okay I'm, again not trying to defend garlic bread could not fucking care less but if there's one incel freak in this fucking community it's the scat man stop it he's on a whole other level Shanta. you gotta watch your mouth hmm when you want to be a shit eater like you and you have shit all over your face like that, watch your filthy fucking mouth. Or like incel, yeah. Someone who simps for an abuser clearly hates women. So what else would I call him, right? <laughs> so she just called him an incel and said how much he hates women. Is that not exactly what, like word for word, what I've been saying about her husband since December? Chantal, you're a freak. I don't get 150 viewers. Elle is real. Apply for the black and flash it. I hate incels, Lizzie. Or like incel. You're an incel. Why do you hate what you are? You are an incel. Your fake husband is an incel. Hmm? Pete's is an incel. Everyone around you, anyone you know is an incel. Don't be so self-loathing, incel. And I love how every time they get called out on something, they're like, oh, well, let's play Cuba Rage or uh, let's play uh, Pumped Up Kicks. Like deflection, deflection. Yeah, they're all defending and not hurting doo-doo now. So whatever, love that for them. They're dumb. I was going to say, we haven't played Pumped Up Kicks or the Cuba Rage here in a while. All we do when we need to prove a point is, you know, mention that you're an animal abuser 
or pull up the messages between your fake incel freak of a husband and cunt Bella. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'm talking about cookies, videos, Thank Ellen. you for the super chat. And I don't care. 400 is good for me. I don't give a crap. <laughs> Some of the ones worth reviewing the most have the smallest viewer count. Yeah, exactly. Yes, I'm part of the Taliban. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go to the fruit market for dinner? For dinner. It's Juma. Juma Mubarak to any Muslims. Hi, Kanip. Mm, why did she do the S thing at the end of that? I hate this. Can we put her on 1.5 speed? Juma Mubarak to all the Muslims. Why'd you end that sentence like a fucking snake, you weirdo? God. She's so proud to learn two words. Oh, a true Muslim woman. Look, uh, look at my body. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I mean, the kid's not wrong. <laughs> Lisa Bear. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. She's as cute as a dirty diaper. I imagine, again, I don't have kids, okay? But I imagine a dirty diaper would be a hell of a lot cuter to a bunch of you. Because it comes from your precious little babies. And I imagine if your little babies gave you that poop in that diaper, it would be a lot cuter than this fucking pile of shit sitting over there. You didn't birth this. Ugh. The one that birthed it wants nothing to do with it. What? <laughs> I don't want lipstick on my teeth. He tries to make himself sound intelligent and superior, but he's just a weirdo. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Megasaurus. It's um, a liquid lipstick. It's matte. It's from the balm. I just burnt bush. Thank you, Lizzie. Do you want to move out? Yes. I want to go to the Grand Mosque. My plan. Who does she say that for? You've never been to a mosque. The only time you've been into a mosque is to perform your fake shahada that you didn't mean and didn't bother learning. I want to go to the mosque. Go. What's stopping you? Yalla. Go, fat ass. Go for the walk. Take us with. You say you're allowed to go out on your own. You say this and that. Go. You want to go to the mosque? There is nothing stopping you. Yalla. The lies. She's a demon. Absolutely. Lilith's pad. Thank you for the super chat. Answer dead, Louise. They all died tragically. Can we review some of the smaller known channels? <laughs> I think I know if you have in mind, Rosemary. I'm all Chinese. Thank you. It's a kafia. Yeah, she's sleepy. Oh, look, my pillows. Take note. <sighs> Crazy that he implied he planted a negative. Oh, yeah. No, I've noticed that ever since she heard us say that he's not around, the pillows haven't moved, and it had been over a week, immediately she moved the pillows. And now, every single time we see that room, the pillows have been moved. We get it, Chantal. We get it. Lord Baroque, thank you for the super chat. You're not missing context. I was just spending money to say your mass words. Okay. Oh, okay. Live, bees and let bees. I, I thought I missed something. I didn't understand what the what the context there was. Thanks for explaining to me who everything goes over my head, Lord Baroque. Negative perception of matter into all of our minds. Like your words have so much power, but second you talk about your view story, all of a sudden your world is invalid. I know. I don't care. These people are so irrelevant. They're stupid. Hi, Sophia. I don't really watch eating videos, no. <laughs> Sometimes, but do I ever leave the house without Salah? No, not really. Not really. He's the driver, so. Hi, Natalie. Um, and they stay the same. Exactly, Katie. Thank you. I just want to be. I made dinner tonight. I made um, a chicken. Very, very um, surprising, right? Chicken, rice, gravy. Same as always. She did not make that chicken. She even just hesitated before she went. I made um, um, a chicken. And she kind of smiled. She, she's like mentally thinking, well, now I can't show them that chicken. They're going to know. Idiot showed us the chicken in the video we just saw. We saw. There's no way. When she took the wing off, the wing is the dead giveaway to me. There's no way that I believe that she could cook a chicken like that in that kitchen of theirs without burning the wing. The chicken would either be kind of raw towards the bone. You know how, you know how it is? Or that wing would have been singed. No, the wing was perfect. The skin was perfect. Chicken cooked beautifully. There's no fucking way she cooked it. Oh, Frankie Fish. Thank you for the super chat. So, Honey Boo Boo, no, he has another channel. 
with 100K. Hi, Vanessa. Tea and biscuits. Picture perfect. <laughs> we don't use it a lot. You said I look like DJ Khaled. And I, I don't think I blocked you, Wendy's, did I, for that? I don't think she looks like DJ Khaled. He's lost hella weight. She's probably got 200 pounds on the man now. Just saying. Another one. Um, personal cooking channel. Thank you for the super chat, girl. That is so accurate. Yeah, Jabba the Hutt and the Cheshire Cat had a child. It would be Chantal. You, you remember the last... I, anyway, I clipped it. I have a, one of our thumbnails from way back was the Cheshire Cat and her. She had the same pose and she had the fucking hookah in her mouth. It Come on. And then she got mad at me for making that thumbnail. Well, girl, don't make it so obvious. I mean, when you look like something, I'm I'm a visual person. I always see something and go, oh, that reminds me of this, or that looks just like this. Uh, come on. <laughs> that was probably my best thumbnail of all time. Why could you hate it? Damn. She has no sense of humor. I think that's funny. I know, Natalie, and they're still dwelling on that. They're still dwelling on that. The Cleopatra time warp. <laughs> Yeah, she moved them around. I wasn't kidding. Look, notice also every single time we see that background, ever since she heard us say it, every single day she goes and like moves around the pillows. Hello, El Petit. No. So I was sitting on the couch earlier to uh, play his game. Sure. I had a friend over. So, and I just stayed in the room because. The lies, the lies, it's just on and on and on. Imagine waking up in the morning and every single thing that comes out of your mouth is a lie. The salad was here. Nope. He had a friend over. Nope. He might have been with a friend, but they were fucking elsewhere. Come on, get your head out of your ass, Chantal. We all know, you know. Raven Lunatic, thank you for the super chat. Kathy Manikun asked Chantal to not say the R word because her kid is autistic. She wouldn't stop, so Kathy exposed her. Maybe it's just me, but I side with Kathy massively in that. Like, what a piece of shit. Grown ass people. Grown ass people. And again, Chantal told us the story. This is somebody that she had been friends with since high school. That means you were around when that even the kid was born. You know what I mean? Just like in Shannon's case. Like, how do you do something so blatantly that hurts the kid? And when you do, because you're a crackhead with fucking burned brain cells and the mother tells you, hey, can you please stop? Don't do that, my kid, you know, to not realize and like genuinely apologize and try to change the behavior. Nope. Kathy's not the bad guy. It's like we were saying, what did she do? You know, what did she do to make Kathy behave like that? Nobody just suddenly, after all those years of friendship, suddenly one day wakes up and goes, I'm going to Kiwi Farms. I'm going to burn this bitch. She clearly did something and it had to have been pretty bad. That makes plenty of space, uh, space sense. I don't know. I don't hang out with his guy friends with him. Like that's a different part of the culture, I guess. You know, men and women don't really socialize together. Hi, Rose. Yeah, but you don't socialize with women either. Yeah, he's got to get views somehow, exactly. I don't find so either, Aisha. I don't see it whatsoever. Thank you, Wendy's. I don't have Amazon, no. We don't get mail here. I'd have to go to a post office. So I don't know. <laughs> Even if I wanted um, a plaque, I don't know if I could get one. Hey, Tracy. Hello, good evening. <laughs> Joe Davis, thank you for the super chat. Girl. So lot is handsome, this man. Oh, Salad thinks you're a fatty who's not attractive enough to poop on. Stop calling him handsomest man. You make a fool out of yourself every time you say that. It's 3.48, but I slept a lot today. <laughs> Hi, Bahar. <sighs> Oh. oh my god vicky thank you so so much girl that's so nice of you thank you for the super chat i really really appreciate it i think we'll get we'll give away the boss beach necklaces next week what do you say guys or on the weekenders i don't know maybe on the weekend i gotta get a picture of it so i can show you thanks to vicky 
the necklaces that y'all are gonna win. Eh? It's 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 so dumb too. It's like a joke from back in the day. But if you've been around and you remember Crackhead Olympics when she was at her crackiest, oh so cracked, and she was making twenty grand a month, and she really felt like she was doing something. She went and bought that gold necklace that said boss and we were dying over that mess that uh, necklace and i went to claire's and i tried to get the necklace and i could never find the goddamn necklace well vicky sent me three of those necklaces so i'm keeping one for myself because you know that's like i don't know it, it's like i said if we ever had our, our like like the bravo clubhouse but for Shantopolis, that necklace would be in it you know so we'll give away the other two and y'all can be boss beaches with me <laughs> Thank you again, Vicky. Yeah, Amazon, I do miss, but I save a lot of money, right? I'm not ordering useless crap I never use, you know? Yeah, he is the handsomest, I think, for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kai. That's so nice of you to say. With a partner. I don't think. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Teresa. Really, Bahar? <laughs> Hi, Mistress Von Dracula. Hey, gorgeous. I'm not getting out enough right now because of my leg. I'm using it as an excuse, but I need to. I need to get out more. I need to take advantage. Stanley, what? Salah's like six. He's six foot two, one or two. I can't remember. I think six two. You can call me Sean Paul if you want. Hi, Zach. Okay, wait. If he's six two and she's five one, in theory, he could poop right on top of her. <laughs> no squats, no nothing. Just poop. Uh, it's such a shame. It's such a shame. You guys want the necklaces? I'm glad you're still hype about it. Yay. <laughs> Paolo, thank you for the super chat. Notice this hypocrite smoking with the cat in the room. Yep. Not only smoking with the cat in the room, smoking, I call it a hot box because she runs the air conditioner all year. She never cracks open a window. There's never fresh air in that house. So she hot boxes the cat in that room with the shisha. A back scratcher. <laughs> That's a utensil. It's multi-purpose. <sighs> Look at my body. Thank you again for a super chat. I'm all right. Tired. <sighs> I'm not going to go to bed. I mean, fagger soon, so. Do I miss wheelchair beating? No, not that much. Like, the, like, addicted part of me misses sometimes, yeah, but. Thank no, you're past the point of addiction. You had been in Kuwait long enough and away from we that there's no there's no more addiction at that point. It's not heroin. And even if a what girl, girl, every addiction it breaks eventually, right? It's habit, and you never tell yourself no. You want to get high, you're in a place where you can get weed, you're gonna do it. You just fessed up to it when you were in Canada and told us that you did it while you were in Thailand. It's there's no addiction pulling you anymore. It's just you who wants to get fucked up. So don't tell everyone no. No, I don't even want a wheelchair. She right now would cut off her entire beatus leg to be given a wheelchair. If that was like a trade-off, she'd like, well, I'm going to lose this leg eventually. Might as well get a wheelchair for it. Thank you, mistress. Wheelchair is a gummy. Thank you. People are not unsubbing. It's like some, sometimes people unsub, sometimes I gain subs. Right. Very good. Thank you for the super chat. Well, he's light skin. But yeah, hi Kiki. Fazer is the first prayer of the day. Thank you, Vertica. Yeah, I got to decorate for Ramadan. I'm not an affiliate yet, Mistress. Uh, Abby Cat, there are no more um BBJ calendars. Literally gave it away to the last last one. Next year though at Christmas time, we'll do another like I don't know, BBJ related fuck shit again. It was a good time. Do you play on Twitch? Mr. Cardigan. Hello. Um, yeah, the intruder blush, I know, of drug-induced paranoia. It's winter. Hi, Kiki, Kiki. So anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I used to pick partners. I was never, each partner I've had in my life, like, I wasn't initially attracted to them. Actually, I was planning on running <laughs> with, with Milan. When I first saw him, I was like, I'm not attracted to him. <laughs> oh, the beauty queen met BB and wasn't attracted and wanted to run. Oh, man, that's BB's sliding door right there. It, I know he's not watching her, but imagine if he was watching and he was like, oh, imagine if she had run. That's sliding doors. That's the moment. This pet bitch was able to run. 
<laughs> and not desperate. Maybe she would have run because she's no, she wasn't attracted to him. <laughs> you could have saved him a lot of aggravation, Chantal. Shit, man. I wasn't attracted to him. Shut up. Every partner I've ever had, I wasn't attracted to. No, the only one you weren't physically attracted to was Pete's. That's why you kept him secret from all your friends. Oh, my God. You told us from day one that Koki was some kind of a fucking Adonis until the camera slipped during the magic show and we all saw what he was working with in the teeth area, you know? Stop lying. And BB is the best thing that ever happened to you, Chantal. You got to really keep his name out of your mouth. You're disgusting. You're trying to rewrite history now on BB when for real of everybody who has passed through Chantopolis, BB is the one that she should respect. BB is the one who showed her respect. BB is the only one who ever gave a fuck about her for a little while. She, she needs to shut the fuck up about BB for real. Everybody grew on me, you know? So Salah, yeah, he's definitely, I saw him and I was like, wow. Yes, handsomest man. Excuse not to walk <laughs> because I'm afraid of the pain. Oh, picture it, okay? October, two years ago, this fat ass is so desperate because Koki won't have anything to do with her anymore. She loads up Tinder or whatever the fuck and poof, up pops handsomest man. And she's like, mm, yes, he's so handsome. And he looks over and he goes, mm, yes, she's so hideous. She will be desperate enough to make me papers. A marriage of convenience that I won't even have to pay a dime for. Yes, she's the one. Like it does hurt, you know? So I guess it's a valid excuse, but it's not, sometimes it doesn't go. So I just, you know, I don't know. I'm going to try to go out more anyways. <laughs> the intruder incident that's rent free in your head. <laughs> Richard. Hi, Alia. Chantal's traumatized. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> like a stone. Oh. That's so mean. <laughs> no, he didn't. <clears throat> Miss Villa Days. Yeah, they're gone forever. Oh, they unsubscribed you, Joanne? Really? Aren't I already? Running for office? <laughs> BB was cute too. Nothing spectacular about his looks. You know what I mean? Very average looking short guy. Nothing wrong. I'm saying like it's Chantal. Still lucky to have a BB. You know what BB always looked like to me? A very kind person. And what the fuck matters more than a kind person? Again, it's funny. Her who claims to have been through a DV situation with what she calls an actual monster and stuff. When she looks back now to the BB era of her life, it should be with that kind of a look back, having gone through what she says she went through. She should be the one saying, you know what? BB was so kind. He was so good. He would have never like raised his voice, let alone a hand to me, blah, blah, blah. No, no. I wasn't attracted to him. I wanted to run. <laughs> we should move in with Pete's. And I was living with his sister. What? <laughs> Pete's is living with his sister. Pete's has a sister? Running for office? <laughs> we should move in with Pete's. No, he's living with his sister. This is news to me. What the fuck is this? I, I, I never heard Pete's had a sister. We've only ever heard of Pete's brother. I didn't know he had a sister. Wasn't he supposed to be living with, like, a couple who were friends with his mom? Damn. A sister. I don't know if I believe that. Everyday Haram Girl, thank you for the super chat. Clown indeed. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, mom to Max, thank you for the super chat. No, girl, it, it was a joke. It was a joke. We, I was just trying to piss Chantal off. <laughs> We're not really doing cameos. I'll yell at you right here for free. You just tell me what to yell. I, I wanted to piss her off and trigger her. I thought we might get a rage out of that, but it was a joke, girl. Gypsy Rock, thank you for the super chat. Can she not suck on that machine? Whoa. 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 <laughs> I wish that hookah would just break. Like she would kick over the glass piece and the whole thing just fucking shatters and then up, oh, loop. No more fucking hookah. 
proud Canadian. Thank you for the super chat. I am 99% sure she has a new sock account. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's always got like, I don't know. I want to say five to ten between her and Pissy Poo. Yeah. He doesn't have a sister? That's what I thought. Why is she telling people's business? Because it's made up. Yeah, BB had a sister. Pete's only has a brother. That's what I thought, too. We've only ever heard of Pete's brother. She's talking about BB's sister? No, she just said Pete's lives with his sister. Oh, did she mess up? Do you think she meant to say BB lives with his sister? Because she said Pete's. Pete's. Ah, maybe she had BB on the mind, and that's why she meant to say BB lives with his sister. She did not say BB lives with his sister. We just listened to it twice. She said Pete's lives with his sister. But I think she just said the wrong thing or she's lying or I don't know. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, why all the shitting on BB lately? Why? I don't know. Is she pissed he dumped her and Salad will never love her? Probably. Probably. You know, after that lie she told, that whopper of a lie about her breaking up with BB, I would love to, if you guys are down, maybe this weekend on Twitch, Rewatch that breakup stream. Um, it's pretty fucking clear by that. It's not a stream, sorry, it's a video. It's pretty, pretty clear who dumped who. And she cries so much and she's all red and sweaty. It's a great one. I would really look to watch it. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. I blame Uncle Syphilis for Chantal meeting salad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She enabled the shit out of that, encouraged the shit out of that. Sierra says she's done. She's lying. She's dying. <laughs> Whoops. That was a slip. Yes. Yes. I hope BB finds a wonderful woman he deserves. Same, Chrissy. Uh, Peachy, thank you for the super chat. My new stove connects to my Wi-Fi. I'm 50. Help. Oh, God. Girl, I couldn't. I, I've had an air conditioner that connects to the Wi-Fi for three years. Do you think I ever connected it to the Wi-Fi? You think I have any idea? No. No. But you can just old school walk up to it and press the button and it turns on. So whew, I never had to uh, face that one, you know. <laughs> Renee, thank you for the super chat. It's her looking like John. <laughs> she really fucking does, though. That's funny. BB lives with his wife and baby. Inshallah. Oh, that would be great. He's probably engaged with a baby on the way. I wish we could get like a little update without being intrusive in his life, you know? Um, I, I'm not saying anybody go and find out. No, don't get me wrong. I just wish life worked like that. We get Remember like pop-up video when we were kids? So like right now we have all these questions about BB. So out of nowhere, like boop, boop, and a little like bubble would pop up. And we'd be like, BB is happily in a relationship right now. We get like just that written like update. I don't know. <laughs> this is like a TV show to me. I want those kind of updates. Very good. Thank you for the super chat. He lives with his wife, not his sister. It could be. It definitely could be. I had that theory at the time. I don't know. I don't know. Why do they make fun of you possibly losing your leg? Because they're dumb and crazy. Uh, they wish. Richard, I don't really see myself growing old, so I don't know. <laughs> like a stone. Hello, Jenna. Thank you, Average and Desirable. Teresa, I've been good. Not too bad. Let's mop some carpet. Who did? Okay, what if next year we do a calendar, except instead of BBJ, it's BB. <laughs> and we Photoshop him on like sexy uh, firefighter pose. I don't know. Guy on uh, riding a horse topless pose. I don't know. We, we set him up in all kinds of poses and they'll be fucking hilarious. Did that mean? <sighs> Let's get a kitten for my eyes are watery because I'm tired. I'm gonna have to wash all this makeup off. Is that a possibility? What? She's a good girl. See her? Oh, I wanted to show you something really weird that she does. No, I haven't had a headache. I had a headache yesterday, but not really since then. Okay, spoiler alert. I was gonna say the last month, so like December's picture would be him over a hospital bed and it's Dee Dee holding their baby. You know? <laughs> Why did you marry Celeste? You just got to quit on tours because marriage is not possible. Yeah, it is possible. So basically, like, if you watch my courthouse wedding, what happened is basically, um, technically, yeah, you're not 
supposed to be able to, but you can appeal to the court. So we had to go to the courthouse a few times. We had to bring some witnesses. We had help and from people, you know, who know the inside of the court and stuff. <laughs> we got married right away because we can't legally be together sleeping in the same place um, if we're not married. And the thing is, is that you can pick like a date. It's so weird. You can say, okay, I want this to be the date of our marriage. Like when you go to get married and put sign the documents, it's very not the same. Like with some legal processes, there's a little bit of leeway with certain things. I don't know how they do it, but. The loopholes of the law, you already told us. You played in some kind of a weird loophole of the law. Somebody in the court clearly got paid off. If you got to pick the date of your wedding, I'm sorry. Somebody got paid off there. You're full of shit. We knew someone on the inside or somebody who knew the inside. So your wedding was illegal. Your marriage is a fraud. I heard quite a story, a theory, I should say. Allegedly, conspiracy, whatever. I like this one, though. Because the marriage is a fraud and they don't actually have a valid, like, marriage certificate that's legit. What if that apartment that she's in, it's in like an Airbnb. It's like rented like that, like a short-term rental type thing where it's not really a rental with a lease where you need to show this or that. It's like, no, I'm here on a tourist visa as a YouTuber doing content about Kuwait and I rented this Airbnb. I don't know why that theory makes a lot of sense. You know what I mean? Ah, it makes more sense than how the fuck these two are living in sin with that fake marriage certificate and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Slay Mia, thank you for the super chat. Could we also watch the lobster mac and cheese video? Hell yeah, we can. It was like at the same time. You know what I mean? I believe he, she was so butthurt about getting dumped like that and asked to leave the house. That's why she was, you know, like stress eating or cope eating at six o'clock in the morning. And that's why she did that fart and stuff. She didn't give a shit anymore. I'm falling into their trap. <laughs> I don't care because, well, I, yeah, Carolina, I know. But for this particular thing, like I've already like explained that I thought like in the video with her courthouse marriage or a live stream around that, you know, <laughs> but other than that, I won't say anything. No, you didn't explain it, but you did tell us that you played in the loophole of the law. Hmm. Oh yeah, he's in his, he's in, he's in his apartment right now. Um, so yeah, we got married a different way, basically. Um, Crickets. Really? <laughs> Crickets? Oh no. Hi, Teardrop. How are you? How are you? It's in my videos. It's like court, our courthouse marriage where we, show, we come up with the paper. <sighs> yeah, they're going to make up stupid conspiracies, but they don't know. They have no proof of nothing and they don't know anything. So when the first thing she says is like, where's your proof or they don't have any proof, we're right. We all know we're right, but she just pretty much confirmed that we were right. We know, we know. Chantal, I have a question for you. How come if that was your real wedding day and you actually got married at the court that day, how come your scat man incel freak of a floppy titty fake husband was wearing such, you know, a casual outfit, jeans and some dirty fake top <laughs> to go to the court for your wedding? But then somebody posted up on Twitter and it reminded me, yeah, when y'all had gone to that shitty date at like, I don't remember if it was like Cheesecake Factory, he was wearing that like Saturday Night Fever looking suit. How come he didn't wear his Saturday Night Fever suit to your wedding? How come he was wearing jeans? It's fucking weird. Mm -hmm. You never address that. Address it. 1027 Anno, thank you for the super chat. Yes, Chins the animal abuser is hotboxing her cat again. 100% but telling everyone else that they're wrong for being smokers and owning pets. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Chantal would turn an Airbnb into her own delusional love nest. Yes, Scammon is a scammer. Uh, so he would not say anything to avoid her stink. But he's living it up. He gets to pop into the Airbnb every once in a while. Uh, I don't know. He got access to that fucking piece of shit car. He thought he was going to make it to Canada. Joke's on him. But um, with a pillow pay placement, yeah, very romantic in a courthouse wedding. You can get around things in the Middle East. It's not like you have to literally follow the book. For some things, yeah. Like. That is so fucked up. You don't have to follow the books. You're talking about a, a, a marriage here, not getting out of a ticket. You know? 
You don't have some things in the middle. You don't have to follow the books. Do you, anyway, we, the, uh, it's a broken record. We have said this all a million times, but a wedding day is such a huge thing to Arabs, such a huge thing to Muslims. It's, it's bigger than Muslims. It's the culture. It's the olive thing. It's the, the Arab thing, right? It's such a big fucking day in people's eyes. It's like the biggest day till you have your kids. You know what I mean? Where was his family? Very, very weird. They weren't there. Okay. Where, why was he dressed like a bum? Why was she dressed like a bum? How come there's never been a wedding gift from anyone? How come there's not one wedding picture? Not one. She's showed us everything. Every fucking thing. And I don't want to hear it. It's my private life and we don't have to show. Chantal, there's nothing about keeping anything secret. Like, why would you have never shown us one wedding picture? Clearly, this was some arrangement. Some playing in the loopholes, one of those temporary marriage type situations. And you've been lying to us for over a year now. Cave lady, thank you for the super chat. We had to get married so we could live together. Sounds very different than we are in love. So we're married. Absolutely. Well said. Uh, has she referred to their marriage like this before? Yes. Yes. A lot of times when she tries to defend this or talk about it. or whatever, Well, we, ha we, we had to get married right away. She has said that before. So, uh, because we can't live together, we couldn't live together, uh, without it. You know, she has said that before. Interesting. Sad cowboy frog. Thank you again for uh, the super chat. Frenchie, you missed her saying his apartment. I know. I know. She has said it a few times now. I don't know how to take it. Honestly, I think like, I do think he has an apartment. Okay. I don't think he lives there. This is well established, but her saying it over and over in the last couple of days, she's like, it's like trying to make a joke or trying to do a troll on us. I don't think it's like, oh, she slipped and said it. I think she's purposely saying it because she thinks by saying it, it's like, I don't, I don't know, making the whole thing into a joke. But in reality, I, I don't think he ever got rid of his last apartment. I think he's still there. Yeah. Leung, thank you for the super chat. Am I allowed to share a link here? I don't think anybody can post a link uh, in the chat. Sorry, girl. What's the link? Maybe I can post the link, but you got to tell me what it is. I guess it's kind of like a legal loophole. It's not like a loophole. Like, it's still legal. Like, we're legally married, but um, nah. it's just a different process. That's all. And whenever we moved in here, we had to show her like a marriage paper because it's a family's only building. So we have to be married. Yeah, I don't think so. Again, I, I really, I, can, I could go with this whole Airbnb temporary rental or what I had thought, because my brain doesn't go to Airbnb. I thought, oh, somebody knows the landlord of that building, the owner of the building, whatever. And they're just paying that. There's no lease and somebody's just paying them and he's putting the money in his pocket. You know what I mean? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so we call it an Airbnb instead. You definitely would not need a marriage certificate if you're there on a visitor's visa or whatever to make content. Like, it makes so much sense. I don't know. Uh, uh, family building or not, you know? Delulu, thank you for the super chat. I know it kills her that she never had a traditional Arab wedding. Yup. You know she's, yes, binging Arab TikToks and YouTube. Yes, Absolutely. She wants all that. She would love to. You know, when I say like, why hasn't she shown us one wedding picture yet? She wants to. She would love to, but you can't show it doesn't exist, you know? Yeah, that's it. Even driving around and like, I was still depressed. Um, I mean, we do go out, but I don't know. Sometimes I just like spend days where I just like stay in the house and like, I don't know if I feel like going out, I can, no problem. You know, <laughs> even so long, like most mornings or most, most days will be like, you want to go anywhere? And sometimes I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. My mental health is not the best sometimes, you know, I know. I don't know either mistress. They're going to take it as you did it illegally. No, it's totally legal. You can't trick the court. You can't. <clears throat> How, would it, how can it be an illegal marriage if they give you like a, the documents? You know what I mean? They ask you. Because I believe that they went there with fake documents. 
And the court, it was just like getting them like approved. I believe that Chantal and Salad, allegedly conspiracy, whatever, this is just my theory, went to the court with falsified documents. And they knew someone in the court and paid off someone in the court just to stamp their shit pretty much. You like for all your, they know, they would know that I'm on a tourist visa, you know? Because he had tutorial fees? Okay. <laughs> how do I, how do I do it on my head, you mean? It's hot. So yeah, it's 100%, 100% legal. I don't feel like doing it right now. Ugh. Just stray them along. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they're so so much. They're such experts in the law of Kuwait that, you know, on one hand they say we can't legally be married, but then, don't they recognize that we can't legally live together either? <laughs> you know, like. Yes, absolutely. But we don't believe that you are legally living together. So, like, brr, brr. I, I totally agree with this. Anyone who has ever seen a Middle Eastern wedding knows they aren't married. Yeah, Middle Eastern, Arab in general. Yes, the biggest day in someone's life until they have their kid. Massive, massive celebrations. Days of celebrations, right? And the fact that Chantal, the bride, would be there without her family and things like that, the women in Salad's family would have like huddled around her and been like her sisters at the event. They would have... You know what I mean? Like prepared the bride for her wedding. And so there would be some kind of a picture. She would have bonded at that point with the women in Salad's family. And now that's who she would be friendly with. That would be her little, her like entourage. Somebody to chill with. Somebody to teach her how to cook. To help teach her some words in Arabic. Just, you know, teach her how to tie a hijab. Things like that. She has no female entourage. And they weren't around her then either, because clearly there was no what fucking wedding. Me, Marie, wifey number three, thank you again for the super chat. Her slurping makes me want to quit smoking. It is so obnoxious, eh? Yeah. Anyway, look how my cat drinks water. You're gonna laugh. Look at her. Uh... Debbie, this is interesting. Yeah, if she had picked somebody else in Kuwait, uh, an existing Muslim, wait, it's all her fault if you would have picked, oh, to hit to him. Okay, I'm thinking, yeah. But like no regular Kuwaiti would have married her, but you're right. I guess no no Kuwaiti would have married him either. Somebody who's like actually Kuwaiti would not, he, he, he's got nothing to offer, nothing at all. Come on. And her, she's got nothing to offer. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely not. I used to put a bowl of water, but she will not. She only will drink now from a glass. So she has this like beer glass of water. <laughs> Does anyone else's cats do that? She won't drink from a bowl anymore. So I have to like use one of my favorite glasses. You beezer. No, that's freak fucking behavior. Did she just show it? Yeah, okay. Let's look at this setup. NASA enhance. So the cat's things are up on a table for no reason at all because Fatty can't reach the floor to put her food down, I suppose. Okay. And she's serving her cat a glass of water. Why? Because she brought it in from the kitchen like that and, and she was too lazy to go and bring the dish to the kitchen? Why is, because BBJ, she used to do that also with BBJ and Sam. They used to drink like on the counter, you know what I mean? Out of glasses and stuff. Why the fuck does she do that to her pets? Just fill the bowl. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ah. Leung, thank you again for the super chat. Salmia Air B and B. Yes. Same brown doors, same layout. Oh, that's the link. Oh my God, girl. I will find that. Thank you so much for the heads up. Look at her uh I used to put a bowl of water, but she will not. She only will drink now from a glass. So she has this like beer glass Liar. of water. <laughs> Does anyone else's cats do that? She won't drink from a bowl anymore. So I have to like use one of my favorite glasses. You beat her. Hey, Dee Dee, not Dee Dee. Thank you for the super chat, girl. And she's fountain? Maybe. My, my other cats didn't like the cat fountain. 
They don't need to know anything about your marriage. That's true, yeah. They really don't. <laughs> She's spoiled. Look at her. Maybe yeah. I truly believe when she says things like, oh, my old cats didn't like this or this cat doesn't like this or whatever. She's just lazy to do or give or doesn't want to spend the money. For example, BBJ, she always said, BBJ doesn't like a cat tree. No, she doesn't like one. Oh, really? BBJ spends her entire life in her cat tree when she's not, you know, taking over all of the couch. She lives for her little spot in the window and that fucking cat tree and stuff. But no, according to her owner who or ex-owner who had her for all of those years, if you had listened to her, Baby J would have never even gotten a cat tree because this asshole said she didn't like one. Yeah, they live exactly. Thanks, Carolina. They only drink from a fountain? Sorry, Susie. Okay, hold on. be my last shisha that sucks because i'm definitely not going to smoke for ramadan and i'm trying to get ready for ramadan usually when i do housework um... yeah she said she was scared of dogs she was scared of like everything she didn't like to go in cars she didn't like to go here and there curious and afraid of nothing um oh, i uh listen to like streams or something else music and i'm trying not to and uh so in preparation you know for ramadan and just like learning more i basically started listening to lessons about the quran so you have to turn this thing on. Stop lying about religion. God damn. You're on page 55 of the Quran. You didn't participate last year in Ramadan. You haven't bothered to crack the book open since last Ramadan. But now you're listening to teachings about the, uh, the Quran. Stop lying. You know, God can hear you and see what you're lying about. If you truly are a God-fearing person right now, stop lying. CRL, thank you for the super chat. You brought a Bambi. Can you say hi to Doodle, please? Hello, Doodle Bambi. Welcome to the girl gang. <laughs> Carolina, yeah. There's different throw pillows now. <laughs> so that's funny because when he was placing them, he's like, all right, these are two, two inches apart. These ones are two inches apart. <laughs> no, I don't go out alone. I don't know Kuwait like like that, you know. I think I would probably get lost or like last time. <laughs> Wifey, a Bambi is like a, a new person to Shantopolis. You know, they, you come in like a like a little Bambi, like a little baby deer. Like, oh, and their legs are all wobbly and stuff, and they don't know what's going on. You oh, uh, you gotta be gentle with a Bambi, or if they run away, not that there's anything to run away from. When this all started, it was with like Bambi, official Bambi, Bambi had found us on Twitch, and it was crack at Olympicy. And um, I fucked up big time with Bambi. The first day that Bambi was in, the peeps thing came up. She ended up seeing the peeps video and somehow she didn't leave the group. So that, that was not a good <laughs> like approach with the Bambi. You, you got to be gentle with the Bambi. You don't show them too much. You don't even mention peeps. Right now, did the Bambi look over to you and go, peeps? What's, what's the peeps thing? And you just go, I'll tell you later. You don't need to know on day one because you'll never want to come back. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Tell us you don't want. Oh, yeah. We were in there two days ago talking about Ramadan prep. Eh, that's nice. Made a new channel? No. I have my Twitch channel. Oh, yeah. So I don't, I'm not affiliate yet. I still need to stream for another six hours. So. Late day, yeah. Uh, so I think like um oh, see sitting here sucks. I don't like it. Just keep the stream up while you're really they have like on YouTube, they have a lot of like lessons. I'm sure they do have an audiobook version. But on Oh, she's watching YouTube videos about the Quran. Okay, that makes sense for Chantal. Chantal's kicked pork apron. Thank you for the super chat. You two, I listened to like a series of lessons. I know I have makeup on at 4 a.m. I'm weird. Yeah, Mary, I could probably. <laughs> Jenna. What are you doing? Ugh. Addictive coffee. No. 
Oh no, you buy your dog the Peeps dog toy and then you leave for work, you come home from work, your dog and the toy are in the bathtub and you're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> he lives with me, but I'm just being sarcastic because people say that he doesn't live with me. Hi, Marples. It's very easy to get affiliate. You only need like three viewers in your chats and I usually have more than that. Oh, you can't be partner on YouTube and on Twitch? Ah. Uh -huh. That's not true. So then what, I can just stay affiliate forever? Can I be affiliate? I don't know. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> frog legs. I tried frog legs before. The sleep streams with my CPAP. <laughs> oh, I 100% agree with you, wifey. Thank you for the super chat. I think Julia hates her guts too. Every time she touches that cat, the cat's face, she's like, it's like trying to get away from her, you know? There's no like affection at all. We've never heard that cat like purring, you know, while she holds her or like, nee, like rubbing her head on her. Nothing. No cat behavior. She hates her guts. Christina, thank you for the super sticker gruel. Let's go to the mosque. Oh, oh Pixie, that makes sense. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah. It's like, oh, uh, she's squirming around in that tiny ass, tiny ass chair, regular size chair, but for her fat ass, it's tiny. Makes sense. Like right now on Twitter. Go figure. I definitely don't want to use lose my partnership on here. Hi, YouTube lover. I look like the evil queen from Disney. <laughs> Thank you again it. for the super chat, AC. He'll have a good night. I'm staring into the abyss. Blush. <laughs> Yeah, he's sleeping right now. He couldn't stay awake. He was up early and earlier than me, so I know Teresa, right? I've had Turkish coffee lately now. It's gritty. Some in okay, that's fair. My cat has fresh water in her bowl, which she does drink from. But any chance my cat gets to drink uh, from uh, like a water glass, she'll drink it. Okay, fair, fair. <laughs> but would that mean that you stop filling up her glass, like or her glass, about that, her bowl? You know what I mean? It's like, okay, you get it that she does it sometimes, but would you encourage that behavior by filling up a giant glass and putting it right next to her water dish? Like that that's just nonsensical, completely behavior, you know? The gremlins. How does Hassan do it? He does switch on YouTube. Yeah, true. Weird. Well, you know what? If they kick me out of Twitch, oh well. <laughs> Thanks, Teardrop. I love Block. <laughs> for clothing anyway. <sighs> They're probably talking about my marriage details, which I've already talked about before. I said that we had a different way of getting married. You know? Thanks, Vex. I mean, it is legal because Salah knew about it. Like, he apparently looked it up somehow and saw that it was possible, so. Oh, that's convincing. He apparently looked it up and found it was possible, so. Apparently. <sighs> Girl, you are not married. You know, I always gave her the benefit of the doubt. I always wondered, well, I don't even know how much she knows. Maybe for all she knows, she's married. The way she just said that, she knows damn right she's not married. Because I was concerned about that. Like, how on a tourist visa, basically, you know? So. Oh, really, Susie? I don't know. <laughs> You're eating again, STM? Oh my god, that's funny. Yeah, I've explained He's it before. Hanging upside down in the closet. Details, but we did a video about it, talking about it, you know? No, actually, his family wasn't there. Why not? You can't just say that when you're talking about an Arab, sorry, not sorry, and not explain why the fuck. Huh? The only son of, an, like, in an Arab family, the family wouldn't be at his wedding. You, you don't just say, no, they weren't there and move it right along. That's insane. No, they're in Arabic. <laughs> so um, they basically had to like read it out to me before I signed it. Remember I told you in the video, the judge was. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who just, oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm sweating. I'm getting nervous. Picture it, Kuwait. You go to the other side of the world to meet a complete fucking stranger. You end up at a courthouse where you're being rushed to sign a document that you can't read, you don't understand, and nobody's translating for you. 
Oh, motherfucker. She is dumb as hell. Comrade Kitty, thank you for the super chat. Um, They basically had to like read it out to me before I signed it. Remember I told you in the video, the judge was like, um, I'm confused that I didn't have a father here, you know? And I was like, no, my dad is not in my life. <laughs> and they were like, oh, kind of looked at me like that's sad. Right, because you know what? Here's what would normally happen, okay? In the culture. So uh, for Muslims specifically, right? You go to get married, your your, hus your, your husband, oh, your father is supposed to be the one, of course. It's like, that's kind of tradition for a lot, but it's so like important tradition. Listen, listen, Arabs don't fuck around, okay? They don't play with these rules and Muslims either. You're having like a, this is a religious claiming, you know what I mean? You're claiming to be Muslim. You've done the Shahada. Okay, where's your father? Oh, my father's not in my life. Okay, the next step would be a close male relative. So like a brother. Oh, I don't have any brother. Okay, who's going to like take that role? Again, it would normally be somebody from his family. As You know what I mean? It's not her family. It's not, but for her to be without like a, an older male at the wedding in any case is weird and wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't fucking happen. And again, and then the judge looks at her. Okay, so you don't have your family here and turns to him and goes, well, where's your family? Oh, they're not here either. Well, why the fuck not? What the fuck is this? I'm sorry. They didn't just appear before a judge who asked the right questions. Somebody slipped somebody some money and somebody stamped somebody's falsified documents. You can't convince me otherwise. This, where she talks about the loopholes and schmoopholes, she didn't fully even understand what was going on. But it's becoming more clear the more she talks about it. But also kind of like just change the subject because they don't right tracy thank you for the super chat they're very people are very they keep their like to keep their privacy in the middle east you know so <laughs> my friend got married on a tour visa yeah it's because they're going by like google pages or whatever you miss the last gaming why do they care so much about your marriage like they act like it affects their life exactly i don't get that or like the visa status or anything like that because we're sick of being lied to and treated like morons I don't know, Mary. Hi, Reese's. Oh. What is it, mistress? Just not while streaming on Twitch at the same time. Okay. I see. Google experts. They have that idiot Morad, his friend. That's who showed up as casually dressed as dumbass to the wedding. Mm, if you believe that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, Diamond. <sighs> kind of cringe, I know. Where's King Beezer? He is sleeping. Oh, okay, mistress, good news. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's complicated, Moonshine. It's like a process. To finally have the paper made, but you can still be married, but just the actual document is different. <laughs> I know it's complicated, but whatever. That's how it is. No, it's not complicated. You're making it sound complicated because you're making it all up. You choose the date on a document, but you're actually married. This whole thing is made up. When you said that you chose the date, that's the, the sussiest part so far. I don't know. That is just clearly a fake document you were given. Chantal, you're a moron. You're a moron. But she knows. She knows. She knows. She knows. She just thinks she's smart. She thinks she's smart and we're all just culturally stupid. So we don't understand how the things work in that country. Shut up, Chantal. Uh, hot wasabi, exactly, right? Who gets on a plane to marry a complete stranger in a language you don't even understand? Who the fuck signs a paper with a stranger? You're there with a stranger and you're signing a paper that you can't understand a word of what's written on that fucking paper. What are you signing? God only knows. I know, Anna. <laughs> It's called having no life. Thanks, Jenna. Hey, Meg. Where's Crystal? Hey, Crystal. Hey, Promise. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Have a great weekend. The screaming. <laughs> Do you ever want to go back to Canada to visit? To visit, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I know. It's good to learn about different cultures. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Hi, 
Cozy. <laughs> Summoned by your cat to feed her. Are you keeping a spiritual journal? No. I'm not. <sighs> Thank you, Kebu Sab. I'm gonna have to take all this makeup off to uh pray. <laughs> stop. Really, really stop. Pixie, thank you for the super chat rule. Pretty soon. I'll get a notification. Like, you get a notification before you have to pray, and then you get a notification a few minutes later when prayer time is. Thanks, Bex. I want mint shisha. Hi, Lavi. Yeah, how are you? I would be interested in the formalities for a cross-cultural marriage when the parties are from different countries. Yeah, well, basically, Rose, that's, like, what I explained is basically how it went down, you know? Like, we were in a room. Like, there's, like, a whole courtroom. I showed it in the video. Then they call you back. And then this is to get your, like, your certificate. So, yeah. Um, and that's when we got the, like, official papers. And I don't know. <laughs> we had our, like, witnesses. And then um, there was, like, two judges, at, like, sitting down at, like, a, it's, like, a, it looked like a conference room. And that's when they, like, brought forth. Salah asked him some questions. Um, asked him to pay some money. It's called a ma mer. mer. <laughs> I forget how to say it. But, like, when you get married, like, in a... I don't know, like as Muslims, that's basically what you have to do is like the husband pays money and he has to give you money um, basically like during the marriage and then if you divorce and it has to come from like his business account, like it can't be from mine. So I didn't pay. I know what people are going to think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's a thing. And uh, yeah, it's like an amount, uh, whatever that the, the, the man like agrees to at the wedding that if, if the, for whatever reason, the marriage ends and stuff, she will be paid a certain amount of money. It's, it's like dowry, but I don't, it's from like ancient times to make sure like the woman would be screwed over, possibly trying to sustain herself and raise kids. And you know what I mean? Um, but what did he pay for? I don't get it because before she said that she said he, he paid them. And they weren't really in a courtroom. They were in some kind of a conference room. That could be. Okay. This sounds a little informal. And super fucking weird. Hmm. KJ, yeah, nah. Thank you for the super chat. She only had a secondhand couch bed and not a pot to piss in straight after her first wedding. Exactly. Where's, like, the gold? Where's the, the beautiful outfit she would have worn for her wedding where it's a house full they didn't even have a fucking spoon man there was no pots and shit where was like all that stuff you know Isn't, we're not stupid but she likes to pretend we all are pure job thank you hi fernanda self-care yes yeah hi robin no 10 jalapenos that would hurt oh that's what he paid for her Ah, uh, I see. A fee for the temporary marriage. Interesting. We could try. Hi, Danielle. Um, this is grapes and mint shisha. Hey, Justy, you are late. You're late. You're late to a very important date. <laughs> it's not a shisha, guys. So I got to enjoy it. I'm sorry. I'm doing my husband's style so straight and so glad you have, have you guys to talk to. Yes, Robin, for sure. Yep, yep. It's all making sense now. Um, usually, Rose, like the woman's dad would have to be there, I think. But it was like a courthouse, so it wasn't like there's a one place you go to if you're getting married, like like a Muslim marriage. And then there's like the other official, like legal courthouse, which is where we went. So it's a bit different. Eh? But it's a Muslim country. So you're saying you have, is it a civil ceremony in a Muslim country? I am very confused. What was the rush to go in Shahada before that then? You're lying, Chantal. Stop it. FFG's dad says marijuana, not marijuana. Wait, I got that backwards. What? <laughs> FFG's dad says marijuana, not marijuana. Thank you for the super chat. Do you think she might be uh, letting more info slip because Mr. Snowflake found something or knows something and will put it in his documentary? No, I don't think so. I, uh, you know, 
his stuff, it's just, it's just piecing together the things that we all watch together. You know what I mean? Like, there's no like dig in. There's no, there's no. I'm I, I'm just saying. I do not think anything was found at all. I just I don't know. I think she's a moron and she's pissed off that nobody believes her about this fucking ma- wedding and bullshit. So she's like taking another stab at trying to convince us all, and it's just making everything worse. No, Leslie, he didn't. <laughs> but I think he helped him somehow. I'm not sure. Lost Shisha because I'm trying to quit. Hi, Mike. How are you? Right? Sounds sus. If he sleeps through this loud Shisha, he'll sleep through anything. I watched you for about five years and all your adventures. <laughs> Thank you. Susie. Yes, temporary marriage is a thing and it works kind of how it sounds it works you're married for a set period of time that's set before you're actually married and you can fuck and you can live together or do whatever and then poof one day it's done as fast as it started no i'm not sure Susie. i don't know a lot of people i mean i don't know we're not really thinking that far ahead you know i know a muslim couple who were living in canada i think it's the salah family they have like a huge following and they're moving to malaysia because malaysia is also an islamic country you know don't say it's your last one, make you want more. Uh, my favorite color, probably red and black, maybe, I don't know, or green. You have to learn to hate shisha, yeah. Sounds like a fart machine right now. Lori, we can always do a ceremony another time. We just mostly wanted to, like, be legal. Okay, I just Googled it. Wait a minute. Civil wedding in Kuwait. Marriage in the Ministry of Justice, Kuwait. Civil ceremony. Civil ceremonies take place on Sundays and Wednesdays in the Ministry of Justice building. After acquiring your CNI, you are required to take them to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Kuwait to be stamped. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Go here, you know, like you have to be married. Yeah, Mike, I hope so, inshallah. I want to do more exploring, for sure. <laughs> Nia Marie, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. I think the fa- the filters are failing on her. Reactors. Thank you, Elle. They don't understand. You talk about what you want, visa, marriage, no one's business. I'm playing nice to try to make you answer. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to say, though, about it. Like, I, I, You know, I've made a video about it. <laughs> Specs, really? He might, we might visit together next time if I go. Like when I go, we might go together. He ain't coming back ever. Yeah, he might like to be in my streams once in a while, but you love the Sala family? When's the next trip? I like seeing you eating those live shrimps. I don't know, but I do miss Thailand actually. <sighs> no, people don't smoke that here. Robin, if they do, it's in secret, it's not legal. We might have a, a celebration at some point, yeah. What do you mean, Mary? Travel solo is hard. Yeah, it is. And then, like, at least I know I won't be sitting next to a stranger for 12 hours. I'll be sitting beside Salah, like when we went to uh, um, Mike. We would be going to... uh, Sorry, I wasn't zoned out. I was literally reading further down the page trying to see, but I don't know. It does seem possible from what I've read that, yeah, there was a civil wedding civil marriage but if there was a civil marriage why would he have been writing down the amount he would have paid and why would he pay that doesn't make sense at all no there's no payout at a civil marriage like if there's the paying thing and the agreeing on like should you divorce whatever the amount's going to be i forget the word for that um that's a religious wedding that's part of the religion that's that wouldn't exist at the civil wedding, you know, a civil marriage. Like, Brandon S., thank you for the super chat. Wish we could fast forward to the part where Salad finds a woman he's willing to poop on. <laughs> I went to Thailand, we sat beside each other, so I wasn't, I didn't care if I was like tight quarters with him, you know. On a Friday, people go out like to the souks or shisha cafes or over dinner to the parks, the beaches. Parks and beaches are like the discos here. Like people don't go to clubs here. So, <laughs> you know, they go hang out at malls or 
like have beach picnics or something. Like when I first came here, I had a huge picnic at the beach. Like Salah got a huge barbecue for me and it was his friend, his best friend, his wife and their kids. And it was like one in the morning and we were like on the beach having a barbecue. <laughs> yeah, dear job. I haven't been to Saudi Arabia ever. Never. I know Pete said that, but he got it wrong. I've been to Qatar. Yeah, I can see Pete's just saying the wrong thing. I don't think there's anything like, oh, she's trying to hide it from us. Visa run is a visa run. Who the fuck cares where she went, you know? Gypsy Rock, thank you for the super chat. Does anyone know why he still associates with her? That's anybody's guess at this point. I guess he hasn't totally given up on the idea of Canada yet. To a bazaar. Yeah, so I was saying that. Hi, Nelly. Hi. How are you? Teared up, you need the Salah alarm, laugh alarm clock. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Thank you for the info. Spent time in Attica. I really appreciate it. And the super chat, of course. Civil marriages still record dowries given. I work in U.S. immigration and a lot of Islamic countries record dowries and civil marriages. Okay. Question. Do they have to be given, though, in a civil marriage? Because why the fuck would he give it to her? And she wouldn't have even known about it. You know what I mean? I'm curious. Hmm. And what did he pay for? I have so many questions. You know, th this is why she gets so mad. Why do people keep asking about the wedding? Why do people keep asking about the Because it's such a fucking mind fuck. There's very rarely things we can't figure out in Shantopolis. I usually can read this bitch like a book, you know, although we can read to the point that like there's something sussy about this whole marriage. We can't figure out collectively as a community what the hell the answer is, it, like with 100 percent certainty. And it's driving me nuts. You know, Ugh! that's why we keep questioning it. Damn it, Chantal. Dahlia, thank you for the super chat. I'm so late, but I got to say it's horrifying how willing she's been. To keep herself in such a precarious situation to prove the haters wrong. Yes, 100%. Such an immature mind, such a narcissistic, like, need to win at any cost, you know? Idiot, man. Ah, love that for her. So, I don't know. It's hooked up like vaping, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Susie, <laughs> yes. Has he been shamed on the internet? No. He, well, he just wants to stay off. I mean, you know, it is four nineteen. Souk is a market. It's like the Arabic word for market, basically. Billy dancing, no. Hey, H Alt. Thank you. You too. I guess it would be around the same time. I think you're an hour be behind. El Petit, welcome to Loyalty Beezer Club. Raise it, please. <laughs> welcome, El Petit, thank you. I don't know, wonder a lot. It's Annie with an L, not Annie with a P. Thank you for the super chat and the info. Civil marriage just means in court. However, in Kuwait family court, which does the civil weddings are governed by Sharia law. Only family court is Sharia based. So they still do all the religious stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Thanks for the info. Lost, but I'm going to quit. Oh yeah, Jenna. You better be. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. HL gave you membership, HS8. It sounds so magical and mysterious. <laughs> yeah. It's like for me, it's like a whole new world, you know? So it's exciting for me. So I'd imagine it'd be that way for Salah if he came to Canada. It would be a new world for him, you know. I had good gravy today, Susie. I make the best gravy. Yeah, except if he actually made it to Canada, it would actually be like a whole new world for him. Because he would actually leave the house. An experienced Canada and the cold and shit. You know what I mean? You call it a whole new world. Oh, it's such an experience. You're just locked in a different room all the time. You eat food that's a little different now. You know, wow, what an exper cultural experience. Oh, my God. Uh, Shezza Doodle, thank you for the super chat. I may be a Bambi, but I bet the barbecue was huge. Just the feeder. It, it was. You guys remember that fucking after their wedding barbecue that was clearly just for the two of them? And AKA mostly just for her it looked like it was for like 16 people of meat the blue couch is gone <laughs> live and let bees yeah live and let bees bees 
You get arm wiggles. Yeah. I didn't give you guys one. Okay. Theory <laughs> about the couches. I'm sorry for the quick pause, but what if the reason that the couches changed while she was in Canada, assuming now, cause this is my brain, I'm stuck on this. This is an Airbnb or some kind of rental like that. So the owner came in there while she was in Canada. Salad was at his apartment. He's like, fuck it out. Like, we don't have to pay the rent on this place. For one month, he can rent it to someone else. So the owner comes into his property and, oh my God, that fucking blue couch stank to shit. So he threw it out and got these and then poof, she came back. Oh, well, that's my theory. Spent time in Attica. Thank you again for the super chat. It's generally a norm nominal amount. Oh, the money that he paid. Oh, okay. The way she said it, he paid. I thought it was something, you know? Want it? <laughs> You're getting attacked on Twitter for no reason. Did you go to the avenues? Not yet. Um, my Hi, Blondie Barstow. My shisha is a grapes mint. I haven't gone to um, avenues yet. No, I have to do that very soon. Race it, please. Yes, Mike. <laughs> it doesn't rose. <laughs> Looks like me. Make sure. Yeah, exactly. Like like cleaning out the Airbnb while she vacated. You know what I mean? Mm. The vlog. Yeah, I have to vlog. If I go for sure, yes. Thank you, Tony. No way, Steven Sushi. <laughs> Thank hey Steven, how are you? I checked on your channel a little while ago because I was curious about what you're up to. You have like a, a baby, a kid, and everything now, huh? A family. <sighs> I'm really glad to see you're doing well. Thank you. Yeah, world traveler. <laughs> I need to travel more. Wow, that's interesting. You remember that guy? That's like a blast from the past because I don't watch these people. Steven Sushi. This is a mukbang guy. Mukbang. And Chantal, back in the day, used to try and flirt with him. He would come into her chat sometime. He was trying to boost his channel, like get more subs and shit. And he would come into her chat every once in a while and she would try to flirt and she would get so stupid, you know? Okay, now it's been a couple of years, whatever, more than a couple. He comes back after, I don't know, five, six years. Whatever, and she says to him, wow, your life has really changed. You have a wife and a kid, all very normal progression of life things. He pops in after five years. He's like, what the fuck is this? The, the hijab, the chin spanks, the shisha, where are you? What's going on? <laughs> no, he's changed a lot. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, dear Trump. I'm an Aries. So, yeah. 400 bucks later, croons. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Peo Chocolat. If you visit Canada with Salah, can you guys please adopt peace? <laughs> we'll see. I haven't been watching your videos trying to catch up. Yeah, thank you, Steven. Are you still doing pizza mukbang? <laughs> I love your pizza mukbangs when you, when you freak out. I feel you. When the pizza's good, it's that good. Weird timings. I know H-all. It's like now. Oh. Katrina, can I come visit you guys? Are you coming to the Middle East, Katrina? I have 101K. Woo. Yay. Oh my God, how sick I am. This this is probably unpopular opinion because I see everybody, everybody won't shut up about it on Twitter. Every single time I open Twitter today, okay, all that pops up is like, she's 99K now, she's 101K now, she's 100K now. Da, 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 da. And every time I do that, my eyes roll back so hard into the back of my head. I'm like, fuck this. And I would close Twitter. I don't care. It's like, are we still really talking about this? It's days now i think we all understand what happened the the sub for something and they all unsubbed and now i don't know the numbers are just getting wonky and shit. who cares oh we need a new arc i'm so bored of this 100k arc i swear to god because they were bought okay <laughs> and, you know, can something happen can somebody like dd him or cunt bella him or something we need something something to happen that's not 100k 99k 98.999k you know oh my god this is anything <laughs> em thank you for the super chat human nature to find answers to what doesn't make sense you're right girl that's true she lies so we fill in the gaps to make her make sense that's a great great way to put it you're absolutely right we are clever inquisitive people and the people have questions and she refuses to answer so yes no, not Steven Sushi. Oh, I just assumed it was that guy. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? 
Every time, wait, she sticks that hookah in her mouth, it looks like an enema nozzle going in a winky butthole. FFG's French Canadian Pooh Charmoot. You're not wrong, girl. <laughs> Fed Nama, thank you for the super chat. I bet uh, he saw the Mr. Snowflake doc and is like, what the fuck? <sighs> I hope so. That would be great. I'm sure everybody's seen it. You know, yeah, you're probably right. He's like, I gotta go and check this out. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I don't think they're bought because they keep going up and down by a few, you know, not by a whole bunch. I don't know. I mean, I think the large influx was weird myself. You saw in my community post, I asked YouTube about that because I was like, what the heck? No, no, no. Those screenshots you put up there did not make sense. You tried to cover your ass on that. We all understand. Dynamite, what a moment to come in. Happy Friday to you. <laughs> Luna, thank you for the super chat. Salad can't stand chins so much. He doesn't even want his C... Mm. Oh, mm. sprayed on blue couch. Touches her body. Wow, that's a level of hate. I can't even. Uh... Yeah, but you're probably right. He's like, I want to save it, save it from <laughs> what? Uh, what did he call her? Something. Your whole wait. Your white. What the fuck did he call her? I I gotta take notes from these. I I often want to reference things he said in those messages, and I can't remember them word for word. Your white something ass. <laughs> Fucking nasty. Uh, Chantal's kick pork apron. Thank you for the super chat. Kybella, book your flight. Be sure board. Swear to God, Kybella, we will finance this fuckery. You know what I mean? Dee Dee, I hate you. You want to fucking like it the most? I will finance this fuckery. We need a new arc. And then when your mama was, oh, somebody add, sorry. <laughs> Who's that wonderful girl? Could she be any cuter? No way. Oh my God, that was it. Your white Christian ass. Was that it? White Christian ass. Yes, that was it. <laughs> Holy white Christian ass. Da damn. Oh, what a fucking sperm everywhere. <laughs> So those days are gone for me focusing on bigger things. No way, Steven. Well, good luck with whatever you do, you know? H. Alder, I think I can get it in Kuwait. I don't know. If I wanted it sent to Kuwait, it's going to have to get to a post office. And the post office always look like they're not open or something. I don't know. We don't have mailboxes here. We don't have residential mail. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's a blue window, Jesse. There's a place to site devoted to my sub. Oh, my God. I love that. <laughs> Jessica. I like that idea, girl. Thank you for the super chat. No, what? That's so weird. Oh, Katrina, inshallah, that would be cool sometime. YouTube premium, so worth it. Yeah, I know. I, I, I can't lie, I have it. <laughs> Boo! YouTube premium's worth it. Suckers for suckers. Hey, Toriana. Like people change, yeah, Rose. They do. I mean, you know, I'm still like not a uh, hundred percent where I want to be, but oh, Crohn's, yeah. Well, the internet, right? Exactly, teardrop. Yeah, <laughs> I scared them. SDM, good. I love YouTube Premium no ads. Makes me lightheaded sometimes. Yeah, each old. I'm not sure, but funnily enough, I want to go to Qatar. And like explore it more. I want to go to Morocco. We want to go to uh, Singapore, not Singapore, maybe Singapore, um, Malaysia, Indonesia. Um. Yeah, all the places he can go with his Syrian passport. Got it. She cannot get a post office box without a civil ID. Interesting. I Googled it yesterday. Don't judge me. So, but he could get one. Right? Right? <laughs> All the like Gulf countries, because we can drive to the Gulf countries. I want to go to Iraq and Iran. So much culture there. Why do you call it Iraq but Iran? Doesn't what doesn't it make sense if you call it Iraq, you would call it Iran? <laughs> Iraq, Iran, Iraq, Iran, Iran, Iraq. How does she say one one way and what? You're, it's like she's doing it on purpose to sound ignorant or different, or I don't know, but I, that's just weird.
Nicotine kills brain cells. Well, that explains it. Australia? I would like to go there someday. I want to go everywhere. Dubai? I got bees. I um, went to Dubai airport. That's it. You know, come to Portugal. Oh, yeah, I want to go there too. We stand an Iraq road trip. <laughs> Kurdistan. No, it's not. <laughs> Damn, if that's true, what Alice said, that he doesn't even have a civil ID. Can you imagine living in a place your whole life and you don't, you don't even have as much, forget a citizenship, you don't even have a civil ID. That's nuts. You just want me to get kidnapped. I think I would be safe because I would be with my husband, who's Syrian, and I'm also Muslim, so I don't think I would have a problem. You want to go to Marrakesh? Yeah, I want to go there, too. <laughs> oh, no, just eight. I'm so sorry for that. Queen of React. Um, He doesn't appear on vlogs. He's just taking a break from the internet, age old. <laughs> Too much drama for him, I think. I don't know too much drama as if it came to him he did nothing wrong he's just sitting there being handsomest man and for no reason at all the drama has found him scat man scat man and all the poop messages and hating women messages the drama yeah take your break we'll be waiting for you when your break is over jane doe thank you for the super chat she's not welcome here <laughs> listen from the future <laughs> You got to take your turn. Everybody takes their turn, okay? It's only fair. He's also busy with other things. Hi, Angela. Ethiopia. Okay, Croons, have a good day. She isn't accountable to these dumb channels. Exactly. Oh, see, there's the Adon. I got to go. <laughs> um, so I will see you guys later. Can you hear it? That's the, uh, I got to go do woo-doo. Because it's Fadger time. I have to pray Fadger. Catch you later. Yes. Thank you. Um, oh, she's actually done. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to say this nicely, so it's not going to be nice. But normally her one hour stream feels like a lot longer than that. That was pretty quick. I don't know. Maybe there was a lot of battling back and forth. I, I love a good battle. Oh, I love a good battle with Chantal and uh, Yeah, when she lies the entire stream, you have a lot to say back to her, you know? That back that she's frustrating sometimes. Today was one of those days. She firmly believes everywhere is exactly like Canada. The ignorance is just, wow, that's right. She really, really does. Oh, God. Her sub count is a lie. YouTube needs to sweep and investigate her channel and rid all of the inactive subs. Wow. Can you imagine? She goes down to like, I don't know, 60,000 subs and she'll flip the fuck out. My legacy! Why is it happening to me? <laughs> Shit. Uh, Chantal's kick pork apron. Thank you again for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. Yes, that's right. Kimberlina Patricia Thomas lives for the drama. Suddenly he doesn't like the drama? Oh, we called him Patricia Thomas for a reason. What a fucking bitch. And no balls. So really a bitch. If he had some balls, he would have shown himself already on the internet. Hmm? He wouldn't have had his fake wife come out and try and like defend the messages between him and cunt Bella. He would have been sitting right next to her on that couch when she did. He's got no balls and floppy tits. <laughs> Just saying. Sweet Papa Stovepipe. Thank you for the super chat. I studied Indonesian at a language school in California. She'd never last there because they're all small Southeast Asians. So they relentlessly make fun of fat people. Well, in that case, I really hope that's her next visa run for us, of course. <laughs> uh, uh, Thailand, by the way, I think, I don't know if I had mentioned this. I think I might have. They're, they're reversing all of the legalization laws. So probably, I don't know if she's, I think it might already be too done for her. I don't think she can get weed like that anymore in Thailand. So, oh, bloop, that's off the table. I wonder if she knows. <laughs> well, she listens to every word we say. So if she didn't know, she knows now and she's punching the air as we speak. Love that for her. Hmm. I'm a medium and she's lying so bad. She got so many dark gins around her. Hmm. 
Good to know. I think so, too. I think we all kind of do. I don't know. You can't be that evil in so many ways and have, like, nothing. You know what I mean? No no gins around you. No consequences, you know? Yeah. Ooh, good question. Jay-Z. Frenchie, who's your favorite Atlanta housewife? Is it all time or, like, current, possibly next season? Because uh, if it's, like, the next season, Portia. Portia, chaotic, uh, psychotic. <laughs> Love her. And if it's all time, it's Nene, for sure. Yeah, those are my faves. I'm so excited Portia's coming back. Oh, it's going to be good. Unfortunately, they were saying they weren't filming yet. And now the whole, like, uh, you know, mess with her getting a divorce and stuff. They weren't filming yet. So that's a shame. But it will be her storyline. And I'm fucking here for it. It's going to be great. Can't wait. Mm. She's so scared of ghosts. Of course she is. <laughs> a decision will never come near her when she smells like blue cheese. Okay, but if she is a Dijella, would that mm, cancel out the blue cheese enough where they would come around her? I don't know. That's a thinker right there. Could be, because I believe she is. Anyway, y'all, listen. <laughs> oh. Oh, Frenchie, when am I going to my P.O. box next? I can go tomorrow. I could go tomorrow. I could be bullied into going tomorrow. They're open on Saturday. I could go. I will go. That's Jen. I will go. Uh, Abby Cat, thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday to you too, girl. Have a fantastic weekend. Taco slap, you all. Uh, taco slaps all around. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> Love that. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, listen. We are caught up in real time in Shantopolis. I would say we're going to cut it short tonight, but we have been live for three hours. It's really short. I'm going to go so that I can try again with these fucking wires on this piece of shit thing. So hopefully tomorrow we can play a little game. I wanted to play tonight. That is not fucking happening. Inshallah, I'll have it all figured out so we can play tomorrow, okay? One way or another, we're going on Twitch. If it can't be to play, it'll be to talk mad shit. <laughs> We will also be here to talk mad shit if she gives us anything real time to talk mad shit with. Another thing, another thing. Lushy did a Costco haul. You heard me. This is not a drill. That fucking bitch is desperate right now. And she went to Costco after just going to Walmart. If that doesn't tell you how desperate... Oh, we haven't even seen Wegmans this week, okay? Desperado is at the Costco. I love to criticize her Costco hauls. She buys every water bottle on this planet Earth and shit. <sighs> Chaotic and a mess. So we will be watching that, of course, together this weekend. Goes without saying, all right? Woo, it's a lot to do, but fuck it. It's the weekend. Woo! Guys, thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, I'm sorry for all my raging, mostly at the beginning. I just fucking hate technology. And this TV better hope to God that it behaves right now. It's about to get smashed. Anyway, <laughs> if you are getting smashed tonight, have a fantastic night. Have fun, whatever you're doing. Please be safe, all right? And I will meet you guys back here tomorrow. And we're fucking around on Twitch, all right? Bye, guys. <laughs>